All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Boston Blue Beat. My name is Lennox, and of course, I'm joined by one of the best Blaze Blue commentators in the game right now, my man, Toledo. What's going on, dude? How you doing today? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm doing well, I'd say. It's been a busy day, but it's always nice to wind down with some video games. Yeah, hell yeah. Blaze Blue Central Fiction coming at you, followed up by some Melty Blood, um, which a little, little bit of an interesting format for this team battle, but uh, I'm, I'm excited on what they chose. So, uh, yeah. Should be a good time. RIT versus the world. Yeah, so we've got a couple of different colleges involved in this. You know, we've got SNHU, Worcester State University here with Aerodat, uh, as well as WPI. So we'll be going through those two sets of Blaze Blue first, presumably, then, you know, transition to uh, MBTL should be a pretty good time. Um, this matchup is funny, uh, mostly because for those that are, you know, unfamiliar, Aerodat, of course, you know, has been in New England for ages. And if you've seen some of like older, like Boston Bluebeat streams, you probably saw them around before they had to run off for uh, college. Yeah. Um, they've been playing Ragna for as long as I can remember. And that is the expectation of the character they'll choose there. Uh, Jeffers is an Amane player from RIT. Uh, I got the chance to play them way back at the last Upstate Uproar. This was last year around October, if I remember correctly. Uh, which had a couple of people around there. It was me, Fantas, um, uh, Jeffers, obviously. Joshua VV came down for that one. Uh, and then I'm forgetting. I feel so bad for forgetting. They play yeah, my, right. Nobody's they play <laughs> DFCI as well. They're actually really, really good at DFCI. But I get the excuse of not needing to remember because we're already moving in with our uh, match here today. Hell yeah. Um, so this is a matchup that Aerodat is at least somewhat familiar with um, because there is an Amane player um, in the Boston area that shows up pretty regularly. Yeah, Tam does play uh, a good amount of uh, Amane as well. Um, I'm interested to see how Jeffrey Styles go uh, goes. I haven't seen her play in uh, quite some time, so we'll see what she has uh, to display here today. Uh, this is my first time seeing her play, but oh, all right. Get the first hit already, but not really able to get anything off of it. And yeah, arrow down right back, resetting to neutral, trying to control yeah. some of the space. Oh no. So the big thing that Amane has, as you can tell, are massive normals. Uh, <laughs> this character is able to space out really well and control neutral. We're already seeing some action with the driver here with the drills there. Not a huge level up, so we're not going to see some of the crazy chip damage Amane is infamous for yet. As Aerodat runs in right now with the first knockdown here mid-screen. But a good mash will get the Jeffers out of there. All right, well, once this knockdown happens, keep an eye on Aerodat's barrier gauge. Amana, you talked about chip damage. Amana can blow through barrier. And barrier. you block the 6D, oh. and it's party time. <laughs> this is no. where you really want to see that. Oh, my Artemis. God. Yeah. Oh, right as I said it, okay. Jeffers yeah. first right through the barrier, putting Aerodat in a danger state. That is a bad spot to be in. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of Amane players will try to, like, layer one. They'll do, like, a 6D there. Yep. majority of the time you could actually just delay tech a knockdown into it and you'll be fine they can pick up for a combo that's the delay tech right there actually yeah um Ooh, okay. and you can get out of there sometimes they'll pick up for a combo but believe me it is far better than eating the level three drill that you guys just saw earlier yeah yeah that tends to uh, melt your life bar and your barrier gauge very quickly this yeah. is this is all these jeffries right now heard have found the spot oh no counter hit 5b the ragna 5b um, we they don't call it Jesus kick for nothing. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, we saw Aerodat use that button to uh, pretty fun success. I believe at the last monthly, or maybe it was the one before that, I think they had a pretty good run, if I remember correctly. Ooh, good hits here. Should be able to kill off there. And honestly, I feel like the Jeffers, while they have been like dropping a few things, generally, I think their play has been like stable here so far. And honestly, they've been mashing in a couple of spots that have been pretty successful for them there. So if I'm Aerodat, I might want to be mindful and maybe try to insert a stagger there in order to catch that mash or do something like a 6D that has foot in foam to beat the 2A mash entirely and, you know, start kind of running different um, uh, extensions on offense off of that. But we'll see how this pans out here. Yeah, and we've seen the opposite uh, be true for Jeffers so though, once they're uh, on offense, catching arrow down with a couple, like, kind of rough mashes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, no, and there's the overdrive. Just EA right through. Yeah, Great absolutely. OD on the 5C to get through that, yeah. Ah, uh, there's the JA. That's his only overhead, by the way. Amane's only overhead is the JA. 
you, everything else is literally mids and lows. But when you look at his drive, it makes sense as to why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it is not hard to uh, get the party started with this character. Case in point. Oh, I have to spend the counter assault to get out of the corner. Yeah, don't blame me for trying there. A couple of unfamiliar situations with the arrow die right there, and Jeffers just capitalizing it. But right now, Aerodite managing to punch their way in so far. 5C counter, it should lead to death right here. Not going to even have enough time for a burst here as the 2-2C finishes the job. Absolutely. All right. Aerodap putting one up on the board, trying to tie up the set count against E. Jeffers. So this is a first of ten, so we're going to see plenty of time for some adjustments here. Speaking of which, OD there, not quite successful on the punish, but a good attempt from Aerodap. Maybe needed to go for a DP or EA in order to just get the small punish there. There's a split second where I thought that EA got baited, but no. Oh, there's the 6D. But the timing was delayed on it, actually, until Aerodat woke up. He tried to DP, and that didn't work out successfully. Now, it's definitely party time. EA is blocked. Good punish from Aerodat. Going to spend the meter in order to take her to the corner. Smart decision there, but that drill gauge is still high. Amani can do a reversal superior with his meter. Oh, Broke no. next, however. OD's back. Dude. Is this enough? That, that not, was not on this hit, but... Goes into the safe jump for it. Nah, that was smart. That was very smart. Um, yeah, yeah Aerodad definitely wanted to close that out and keep that momentum. Uh, when, when you hit those like big damage combos in Blaze Blue, you're like, all right, we're we're going in now. We got to get the funny stuff going. Yeah. The big thing too was that you know, going for the three C safe jump there a little early actually negated a Jeffers' ability to burst entirely. The burst gauge didn't even get to fill up enough for like you know a per a, perhaps a shaky like burst bait or RPS there. So, smart play from Aerodat to cut the combo short on that situation. Unfortunate drop there. Oh. Jeffers forced to burst. That's going to be a bit of an awkward situation here now. Amane does have the defensive movement to, you know, kind of play evasively still, but losing access to overdrive is pretty big for Amane because that is like the jumper cable for his, like, drive. Yeah, for sure. Um, still has some zoning options, but obviously Rag is still ragging, you know? You yeah. can't, uh, you, you, you got to respect the... Uh, the pro tag at the end of the day. Oh, and nice wow. defense from Jeffers here right now, evading the gauntlet Hades, crouching under it, playing it safely, not trying to overextend herself. DP comes out from Aerodap, back to a knockdown. And I have to believe that was a miss up there. I don't think that uh, DP was intentional. <laughs> yeah, I would be inclined to agree with you. Once again, hit by that drill. Oh, yeah, you got to respect the meaty drill. That is. Uh, yeah. The funny thing was, that wasn't even meaty is the problem. There was a small space where Aerodat might have been able to actually jump out of there. Yeah, uh, uh, it does have, a, like, a... The hitbox is a little taller than it may seem at times, but probably a situation where Aerodat maybe wanted to roll instead to, you know, create additional space and then jump out or something, but... Those wow. situations have definitely been biting him uh, in the butt, so to speak. However, this is a much better situation oh. here. We're looking at arriving a perfect right now. Yeah. Oh, no. Had the right read with the RC, but ran right into the EA anyway. That's unfortunate. All right, still. Could be a start for a Jeffers, but they're going to give up space here, and that JC is going to connect and leading to their downfall for this round. Yeah. As soon as that counter hit, kicked in. That was that was it for Jeffers. Oh, like, yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, even, even in an autopilot and combo would have uh, worked Dumb out. Job, yeah. Aerodad's gonna, like, get a lot of mileage from these uh, IADs, and um, I'm, I'm wondering if we're gonna see a little adjustment from the Jeffers here sometime in the future, but... Oh, yeah. no! That... Yeah, I was gonna say, Burst. They had to have another missing input. Point. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, I, I want to talk about what we were mentioning earlier about the IADs, because Amane's 5B, uh, 5A, <laughs> and 6A. I swear, these players are... I, there's no script, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, there's always a script, homie. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, they gave me the papers the other day, but these players, you know, they, they do really good script reads. Jesus Christ! That was too much. Too much. Another one? Oh, no, Arrow Dad. You gotta respect that. Oh, my God. Drill didn't last long enough to, uh, to be the Arrow Dad on the knockdown. This is a bit of an awkward situation here, but Jeffers has enough meter for a reversal super, counter assault, whatever they need. Counter assault yeah, comes out. Uh, I, I like recognizing that Aerodat was going to kind of go for the safe play right there, not go for anything wild, so just go, okay. What's up, IDDP? Still not enough, though. Is that it? Oh, pickup? Goodness. Yo. That was a clean pickup. I, wow. Yeah. It was a good recognition yeah. on the confirm there. The first round we saw, like, and you kind of called this out earlier, E. Jeffers, like, had a couple kind of, like, straight hits. They weren't really confirming yet, but they, like, I don't know if it was just needed a couple warm-up games. They're, they're back on it now. Yeah, I think they're getting a bit more comfortable with this. In addition, right, like, 
Amane still gets to play very, you know, defensively or, you know, being evasive. So even if a combo is dropped, you got to reset to neutral. That's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, definitely puts the ball in Aerodad's court. And we have seen Aerodad be a little over eager on a couple situations. So, yeah. Ooh. OD on the 5B. Not going to be able to punish with EA. That's surprising, actually. Recovered just in time. This is going to be a little bit of health for Aerodat. Drops the 2-2-C, but that's A-OK. -okay. Jeffers is still in the corner here. Catching the mash with the 2A. All right. Let's see what we get next after this knockdown here. Will it be the infamous 2A-2A? -two -A? No, he gets mashed on. Oh. oh, that's the second time we've seen that. Aerodat missing the 2A timing. E. Jeffers recognizing and counter poking. Um, yeah. Last time, like, it didn't work out. Aerodat still got the counter in 5B after, but... And, of course, right as I say that, it's probably not going to matter this time. Every time we say, man, a player made a mistake, they immediately, like, they're immediately in the middle of, like, beating the crap out of someone. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's kind of cool because, like, it, it shows that both these players are, like, comfortable just kind of blowing by him, recognizing, okay, well, mistakes are going to happen. It's a first to ten. I'm not going to play perfectly, so I'm going to keep powering through. Um, exactly. And we've seen it work out great for both players. All right. Aerodac getting right out of here, though. Catch the up back from each Jeffers. Ooh. Pops the OD. I feel like that was meant to be a burst on the 5C, but ends up working out decently until, of course, they get hit again. Aerodad yeah. now has a Jeffers in the corner. Let's see how the offense plans out, pans out. Not missing that two-way timing this time. All right. Yeah. 2 through 60 connected. I'm not sure if it caught, like, a late fuzzy jump from a Jeffers or something. Because, you know, it's just a mid, so I'm just yeah. curious. So Jeffers know, is going to try way. to generate some space here. Yeah, gonna need it because that's why I was gonna say if you let Aerodad in, any straight hit is gonna kill. That was uh that was a pretty clean answer from Aerodad. Um most of these games have been pretty uh pretty back and forth so far, but that was a that was a convincing two rounds. Yeah, they've been able to they've like tied it up like in tandem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, far yeah. we're already like on game five here. I was kinda worried like we we would get like one or two like wipes. Um because I, I haven't seen some of these players play before, but this is, I don't know, we're getting our money's worth right here. It's solid, I'd say that right now. Absolutely. And here it is. The problem with trying to pop OD on Amane's 5D is that he can use that command jump there to just back off. So even if you try to go for a punish, he just goes, that's a nice OD you had there. Uh, I love to see that. And then just watches you waste your time on it. Good <laughs> pressure here from a Jeffers right now. Yeah, catching air on that press in there again. Oh, good spacing though, that 5B. Literally the god bug. The JAs from Ragna right now. And you're probably gonna wanna see that a bit more in this matchup if you're, you know, a Ragna fan. That JA puts in a ton of work as an air-to-air. -air. However, an interesting hit here from a Jeffers. Gonna land a solid confirm right now. Drill level is still low. Delay tech from Aerodac gets punished. Can't get any more bang for their buck, but that's looking real good. And a dead Ragnar will certainly be nice in a Jeffers' eyes. Yeah, we saw the IV there right at the end. And I don't know if Aerodat was trying to capitalize on it or if just missed the block. But that was unfortunate timing. Yeah, not too sure. Ooh, the J2B is a bully button. It's so obnoxious. I'm going to I'm gonna say it flat out right now. Yeah. Because oh, Amane, yeah, Amane can, like, command jump or, like, do it again. And it's just really awkward to punish. It, it's just the time. Definitely reminds me of like Zeta's Ju or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, the Pogo. There's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah no, I, I see what you mean from there. <laughs> Big energy right there, dude. It is. <laughs> oh, man, all right, Aerodat though, getting a little health back there. Yeah, has to spend the counter assault. E Jeffers. Um... Oh no, gets the side switch though. An immediate poke out from Aerodat. Aerodat gonna be able is to like fall. Really risking it with some of these poke outs. Like it's 50-50 whether it works too. Aerodat, well, that's it, dead. Nice one there from Aerodat. Keeping it even. The Jeffers does have the burst advantage at the very least, so can pop that overdrive if they just want to say, mm, I want my win condition now. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, no. All right. So hit again. Can't really get anything off that, unfortunately. And now we're back to mid-screen. Cyclone Mido. connects. Good pickup on the roll here. But that 6 is dropping a bit. I'm not sure if they're missing a micro dash or something that needs to kind of connect there. Either way, just backing off and playing it nice and safe. Now, Jeffers can opt to go into stance. Oh, hold on. OD on this 2A? Yeah. You're wow. not going to get a big punish on there because it's guard cancel OD, so you don't really have a lot of time for it. 
think that's the third time we've seen Aerodad straight up bait and punish that uh, EA from Jeffers. Three times in a row, no less. Yeah, riding a 2A pressure is like one of those weird things where you play at a low level and you're like, all right, whatever. Then you get to mid high level and you're like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this man clicked one single button and basically you're screwed. Like, that's how I feel about Jin 2A too, honestly. Dude, Jin 2A is worse. Hold on a second. Yeah. Just RC, not able to ask for sadly. But, um, uh, dude, yeah, that man, you're like, okay, like, it's two A's, then he six A's you, or jump cancels, and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm stuck in pressure, tee hee hee. My favorite is uh, getting anti aired by uh, two A, Jin two A. Oh, yeah. That button is so silly. It does it all, man. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so carried, so carried. I love it. So carried. It up. Oh, man. All right, so Aerodad, the first one to be able to string two games together. It is 3 2 here. Oh, but E. Jeffers finds the first hit. Drop and arrow down recovers. That's unfortunate. That's a really good adjustment for that height right there. That air gauntlet Hades can be really awkward to confirm off of. So props to arrow down for that confirm there. Going to catch E. Jeffers for the throw. I think that's what it's only like. Second or third throw in this set so far there. Yeah, they've hit pretty much every time though. I don't think we've seen a throw attack yet. Oh, there it is. The E. is finally connected. Like the E. Yeah. Jeffers is like, no go on. All right, respect. Oh, that was dicey right there. And they keep going for the dive ender there, but because they're not building enough meter to RC, Aerodat's just been consistently punishing that on block. So oh, might way. need to... Jeffers might need to just get a bit more comfortable having to realize that either A, they gotta just, like, sit down and block. That setup is devious. I'll talk about it in a sec, because right now we're about to see some chip. Yep. Oh, keep an eye on the barrier, too. Oh, it has to oh. take the out of there. Yes. Okay. If you didn't have 50 meters, I would have been like, you're a lord. But then I also would have been like, okay, maybe you would have explodified otherwise. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Ragna moment, you know? <laughs> I swear. Dude, Ragna health is crazy. Dude, I ever... So there was one time where I was learning Ragna in, like, bracket, and I was pulling up to a month before it, and I played yep. against Jackie. And so, like, he did, oh. like, you know, he landed some 720s. I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I'm going to survive this because I'm yep. used to bullet health because she has, like, 500 extra health in normal. Yep. I looked at Ragnar's health, and it went from, like, about 50%, and he just died. And I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah, Jackie. Oh. Jackie do be doing that. Oh, oh that God. was. 6B that connects was... here, and this is this is death. you got to burst this. Got it. Oh. Yeah, it though. So smart from Aerodat. Recognizing, okay, it's your one spot. You're about to get perfected. You're going to go for it. Yeah, additionally there, like, you could see the patience from your Jeffers because, like, there's 30 bajillion, there's, like, four jump cancelable normals in a row, right? Yeah. So that was, like, the last possible time where it was, like, okay, they didn't check for the burst. This next air hit is probably just going to kill me outright, so I have to burst here. So, yeah, that was checkmate. Yeah, all right. That pretty makes much. Sense. That makes sense. Oh, wow. This is 4 with the drill right there. Yeah, that's going to hurt. <laughs> we got those. Let's go. Forget how much damage this man cranks out off. He's like a counter that would be. A lot of these characters have that big OD damage. Yeah. We were talking about Jin earlier. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. I swear, yeah. Oh, okay. We got we got the hit though. Oh my god, into the 6D right there. Now, Get 6D that. in the corner is a lot more annoying to deal with because you don't actually see the drill come. You have to watch right. Amane's like hand like rise yeah. up like that. That's, yeah, that's the low. Hard. yeah, it can be very annoying. Good blocks, nice mash as well. What a counter here. All right, what's that Oki gonna be? Meaty, no, oh. Oh, big drop. Okay, not tragic. Still got a chance. Oh my god, that 6C connected from downtown. Swapped side so Jeffers is not in the corner anymore. Yeah, that was kind of an unfortunate burst there for Hero Dad. Oh no, Ooh. never mind. Okay, first right back. Oh my god, he tried to walk for it. It was still. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he either walked for it and jumped. Oh man. Either that or like thought it was going to be in front of him to have an action into the block. I don't know. Either way, that, that is just unfortunate. You hate to see it. Yeah, truly hate to see it. And each Drill's effort. Gonna connect. Working on another perfect. Looking good so far. Delay tech on the 6D. Gets Aerodat out of there, but they still have to contest with the Mane's normals. But. Ragnar does have that big old JC and JA. Blood Scythe is a big uh, risk to pop over there because Amane can disengage and just throw out hitbox to beat it out. I'm still reeling from that like last second j 2 b That was wild. 6A connects here at least, but we'll confirm. Oh no! Had the counter poke! Didn't get the conversion. 
There's the 2 c Not going to be able to follow up, though, with the 2C there. RC. Let's see how much corner carry Aerodac can get from this. Take him out. We're in the corner. All right. Not going to kill, but next hit is going to do it. Has Likely overdrive coming up, too. Yeah. And there it is. EA connects. Love the patience right there. You can see the staggers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So what I'm noticing right now is that Jeffers is trying to go for, I think that's 2C after the EA in order to catch a roll. Yep. And because Amane has big dead zones on a lot of the C normals, it's not connecting. So what she likely has to do is either go for a different button or use 1C as that is shorter and has a decreased dead zone as a result of it. Um, or just opt for like dash up 5 because that will still cover the roll and lead to a solid confirm there. Yeah. But those like post EA situations have not really been going her way. And that's very important to mention because most of the time, if a Jeffers is popping OD, they're using that EA there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, burst. Oh, no. Yeah, All right. you, you got to notice that. That was tough. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nice yeah, job okay. killing Ragna, but you have a big mountain to climb right now. I hadn't been checking the barrier gauge either. I was kind of worried. you got to spend it or you'll get air unblockable there. Yeah. Likely not going to be a factor for a little while right now. That blood scythe connected? Oh my! Okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What are we doing here? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Is this gonna happen? I'm not gonna say it either way. We got a lot of people though. Oh my! Okay, that's gonna do a big chip on the barrier, but that resets the drill gauge back to one. Oh no! Oh, Ragna five B. All right. That's that's my high level analysis. That's what I got. Ragna 5B. That's it. Dude, man. I mean, it is the normal <laughs> of all time. It is absolutely. It seriously is. Wow, uh, that was tragic. So when Amade goes into the stance like that, you know, with the twirling ribbons and all that jazz, he builds up that drill meter there, and he can cancel it into like the grounded drills that right. like can cover space pretty well, and it's also a guard point projectile. Um, that guard point's not super relevant for this matchup, but building. Okay. okay. Oh, that was no. probably supposed to be a burst, but then there was a drop. Yeah, I think you are correct. This is not a great spot for Jeffers right here. Oh, that's a really good corner carry on my confirm. Great counter poke right there, too. Kind of scary pressing to the 2A, but here we are. Aerodat DPing right back out. Stagger, yo. Yeah. Once again, not enough to kill. And there's the counter assault. This is how it starts, Toledo. It could be. saw it last time. A lot of drill to work with, but... Aerodot's going to play it defensively and try to back off. Burst yeah. wants to keep that win condition active, but this is going to be dangerous for them. Still has a chance, but has to play it super safe right here. Oh, wow. Ah, that Until was they very, get the hit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that could have been death with the super at the end of there. Nice! Oh, my God. Good blocks. Oh, my God. They caught counter hit. I think they wanted to... I'm, I'm willing to bet the farm that they either matched a 2A or wanted a counter assault there. Yeah, oh I my god. Right. That was that, that was is rough. Comfort. All right, blocking it out this time. Air the throw connects Whoa. though. Dude, these calls from Air that are working out so well for him right now. He's starting to run away with this round. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're the score right now, five two on the verge of six two. Yeah, we're getting there. Still, each effort like always has that moment where they're like able to escape the corner and almost make a comeback. I, I think we're just a small adjustment away from seeing a little turnaround here. Yeah, there's a couple of things that I think would be effective for them. We'll, we'll talk about it after this game here right now. Last knockdown potentially here. You got to guess for game here. Rolls out. Forces the burst out. This is probably an EA to punish, and yeah. that is it for the game. All right, so talk to us about uh, the adjustments that each effort's got to make. Um, obviously, drops are kind of an issue sometimes, but... Yeah. I think one thing is that they should probably go for some different RPS on OD. So far, they've been showing kind of the same option with the EAs there, which is fine given that like a couple of games ago it was proving effective, but we are kind of at the point where Aerodat sometimes is plotting around that. So this is where like OD into MASH or OD into like escape starts becoming yeah. a more like fruitful option there. Uh, the other thing is maybe some more IBBs in order to free up some face. This is a good OD here. Eh, and they matched it for the 5B. And look at that. Kind of oh, drill no. gauge built up. DP fails. Got the fatal counter, but couldn't get the conversion. That is just unfortunate. Uh, I kind of want to see Jeffers uh, do a little more zoning. Yeah, see, like, when they're able to find the hit like that, like, get the setup, get the set play going, 
Um, but we're seeing works these heifers well, yeah. go in a little too much, I think. You know what I'm saying? The other thing is, at this point, you gotta maybe start doing like some throw S's in the air. Aerodeth's yeah. been going for a lot of these like IED or dash jump air throws, and I mean, they've been really clean call outs each time. Uh, the other thing of note is that Aerodeth's been really successful with the 2360s, the, the dead spikes there. Yeah. And those are something that you gotta start fucking checking out, because if not, Ragna pressure is very continuous. Nice reversal super there. Oh no. Okay, just there hold it. it. Is. The decision to hold the drill there is smart. That's kind of all that she can do in that situation there. It's unfortunate for her that Aerodat popped, like, Actiflow, so that the EA did 4K. Uh, but otherwise, like, that's fine to force out EA or DP from Ragnar for, like, a DP, uh, a decreased uh, strength punish. This EA is good here, too, actually. I, I like this a lot on the dead spike. But one of the big things that we're kind of starting to see is that, like, it's it's been sort of, like, really high costs to get out of pressure for your Jeffers here, like so far. Rather than yeah. stick to like cheaper things like IBB or, or fuzzy jumps, or even the occasional 6B, because that does have foot involved and it pushes Amani away. Yeah, we've seen a lot of resource spending, uh, whether it's burst, uh, overdrive, or just straight up spending that counter assault. We've seen multiple that GA times. from Arrow was all my all, so I want to point that out. That was super sick. Looks yeah. like here, good fuzzy jumps here. We're seeing them a bit more now. Burst, all right. Oh, no. Uh, we necessarily I need to burst, but understandable decision. Okay. Very scary trade for Arrow, Dad. He probably could have DP'd RC to death there. Is he looking for Astral? Is that why that was just 5C into nothing? <laughs> you oh never know. God. Sometimes when you get the lead, you, uh, you're you feeling it. Sometimes, indeed. And there's, there's the DP, DP. yeah. Cause you can see in these like moments where Aerodot like has a bunch of meter, it feels like he's smelling the desperation and he's like, I'm just gonna crank out this DP and RC if I got him, man. Like it's whatever. And and it's we've seen like a pretty high hit rate too, you know what I'm saying? Like there's only been a couple beta DPs, and I think only one or two that have actually been punished, you know? Yeah. Alright. Well, it's it's seven two, like still got a little time left, but E Jeffers is uh it's gonna have to, uh, the ball's really in there to court, I guess you could say. We're, uh, how should I put it? Kenny Loggins put it pretty best. We're, we're heading into the game. Indeed, indeed. There's that EA one more time from Aerodat. JA, thing, you called it out earlier. Aerodat using it to great effect. It's super, super good. If you look at the hitbox sometime, you'll be like, that is dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. That's one of my favorite things about this game is going, why do they have that? Yeah, you look at this and it goes, Ragnar's a standard character, by the way. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, are you sure? And it's like, yep. <laughs> like, okay. Cool. That's a big reverse of Super trying to get cheeky with the RC and the throw there. But Arrow now responds with the throw in kind. To be honest, I just respect the fact that Jeffers is starting to spend that meter. Uh, we've seen them die a couple times of 100, so. Yeah. I, I think it's good to, I think it's good that they're spending it on other things. Yes. I think that like with just a little bit of tweaks to the decision making, they'll be a bit more effective there. Like the reversal super from there, for example, was like I kinda get it, but you know, at that point Rag is mad far. And, <laughs> yeah, like Aerodot sure. just kinda stood there and was like, You're gonna have to RC and spend this hundred meter and that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah. Aerodot's got those uh those young man reactions, so you can't uh, can't count on always uh, catching up with the funny stuff. Yeah. Counter hit nightmare edge connects right there. That was really cool from Aerodad. That's all I got to say there, honestly. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't been cool. popping it out too much, but it can be very annoying to deal with sometimes. TRM set up there, not gonna be quite a TR, not gonna TRM there, not catching a Jeffers OSing there, but that might be some data that Arrow can use for further mix-ups. Gonna pop OD in order to get this kill. Keep it simple. Okay. Ooh. All right, that's number eight for Aerodad. This yeah. is oh, this is convincing right now. And we're now at that like section in like a first to 10 where if it Jeffers starts getting the like games, two games in there, if I'm ever down, I'm starting to get nervous. You yes. Hate, you hate to be on the receiving end of like reverse three O's and the like there. Oh yeah. And especially when you're this close, I feel like there, there's a higher chance of getting in your own head, which I, I don't think is going to be a huge deal for arrow dad because from everything I've seen across multiple games, pretty strong mentally. Um, but you know, when you're on the spot, it can be like that. And, you know, nobody's more on the spot right now than the Jeffers, technically, you know, being down 8-2. So it's going to be a tough climb from there. But a baited DP 
into a punish is gonna be fine not a huge amount of damage but gets the 6d draws out the od and just clicks 5d on it okay got mad charge there too oh no gets hit can't get the pickup that definitely would have killed yeah we've seen that situation happen a bunch of times counter jay is here nice anti here gonna just run to the other side 5b connects a burst from a Jeffers arrow that's nearly in danger state. He has to play this aggressively from now. ID air throw whiffs. Jesus. It's all back at you. Yup. Baited. Yo. Had to spend the RC. Yeah. Oh no. Wait. Are you what? kidding me? How did that? How did E Jeffers get punished for that? That was I... like that wasn't a trade. E Jeffers just got hit. I thought that was gonna be like either a trade or they like or E Jeffers would have invulned away. That was yeah. weird. I, I saw the hit and just assumed E. Jeffers got it. Yo, arrow dance yeah, danger. Like, oh, Still man. gets it. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. And again, oh. that kind of main thing, you could tell at this point that Aerodas just kind of mashing DP on a lot of the command jump pressure there. So if I'm a Jeffers, I'm going to start doing a bit more command jump back, maybe JB or JC to still yeah. throw out a hitbox and just post really good jailing sequence. Um, to kind of like, you know, leave a hitbox and say like, hey, okay, whatever. I'm not going to let you like, I'm not going to back off for free, so to speak. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, Drive no, ends up successful. Me. We've seen it not work out in the past, but this time it's a okay. Yeah, and there's the like re jump pressure right there, getting a counter hit. Ooh, tornado keeping Arrow Dad down. Okay. Nice job there, going into that stance drill here. Now we're already in danger state. Level three drill hasn't even been achieved. Arrow Dad's just been blocking this entire time. Counter assault comes out. Yeah. Jeffers, oh, is it on active flow? Yeah, here we go. Trade. DP, yeah. Right, I it's agree. looking very, very dangerous. The mashed EA could probably get it done. There it is. In the eleventh hour, with a a pixel of bar left in that uh, that overdrive meter, E Jeffers finds it. That was nice. All right, let's go. Let's go. That OD timer definitely had a fraction of a fraction of a second left to it. <laughs> oh, it, if ever there was a uh, that was the catalyst for a turnaround, that that's it right there. Um, we'll see. Oh, yeah, oh, that's still looking real clean right now. Yeah, and nice blood sights right there in order to keep a Jeffers contained. You can see the fuzzy jump attempts there, but blood sight just locks that down. I think if I'm a Jeffers, I might want to sit and maybe 6A here and there to kind of mm. check for it because a Mane 6A is such a good anti air, and it can definitely counter hit the blood sight that bad spacing. Yeah, a lot of people attempt. put. Oh no. You were saying? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh no, right through. Oh, no, I no. thought it was going to be hit. This no, is right there. Oh no, not God. enough. That's tragic. That was an I'm I dispute the notion of a reset. That was a CT that was supposed to connect, and it didn't. <laughs> and Aerodat just jumped up and hit buttons, and it connected. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, I, I I think one of the things that uh, Jeff is really gonna have to do um is switch up the defensive options. People put a lot of emphasis on switching up your offensive options, but you gotta do the same thing on defense too. That's I, I, I think that's kind of uh the the big part of what you were talking about was switching up with that six A or the six B rather, excuse me, on defense. Uh, yeah. Don't don't be predictable. Uh because Aerodat's definitely gonna key into that. Certainly paramount, I would say. Oh, oh they're getting the throw, throw there. Again. Yeah. And again, they've been connecting every time, and Jeffers at this point probably isn't throw wessing in these situations. So that's kind of why we haven't even seen really any techs and the TRM setup in Aerodat earlier. You know, we only saw that come out once. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know. Teching in Blaze Blue is one of those things. Like, I feel like that was not high on my priority list when I was learning this game. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm worrying about that later. There's more important things. I need to no, learn. I feel you. I feel you on that sense. The the good thing about BB is that it's um, it's a lot different than some other games. Like like let's say like Undernight for example, where yeah. a lot of the game is structured around option selects. For CF instead, the main option select you go for is just throw OS, and then you can kind of just be like whatever for the other defensive OSs. Yeah, um, it's not nearly as intimidating as I thought it was at first. Um, yeah. It, it's like, it's so much easier too. Jesus, that's a good counter this time. Yeah, this is a problem right here. All right. And I'm not going to lie. This is this is a, a guess for game situation here. Oh, God, this is it. This is 9 2. Do it. Yeah. This is 9 2. This is it, man. Oh, Dios mio. Oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful. His is Kalisto, why is it a cross up IDDP? But the second hit of the 5D doesn't connect. That's but JD's it. extended hitbox with the OD connects into it then. Oh my, that was super sick. Aerodat taking that 10 2.
That was clean. Uh, was that, what was that, eight in a row for Arrow Dad? That I think nice. that was like eight in a row for Arrow uh, Yeah, 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 because he got 3-2 and then did not let off the gas pedal. Yeah, yeah, that was clean. Uh, great adjustments right there. Um, shout out, shout out to E. Jeffers, though. I always love seeing some Amane. Um, definitely, I, I don't want to say one of the more underrepresented characters in this game because I definitely get my fill at, at like locals and stuff like that, but I don't know. This character's sick. I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll be I'll be straight up. That character does not get seen as often as you would think. Um, he's got a lot of interesting tools and he's pretty strong. But both in like the U.S. and I think Japan, like you don't end up seeing the character too often. Uh, but definitely has a, a, a lot of sick stuff going on. Uh, much like us over here at Boston Blue Beat, we got a couple of things to you know yammer on about. So hey, stay with us. We got it's cool stuff. Trust. So. Starting off here for our next offline monthly, this will be on May 20th with the usual games, Guilty Gear, Exert, Strive, CF, and MBTL. And we've also, you know, got a little bit of KOF action and so on and so forth. I tried out the beta, the game is sick. Yeah. Um, in terms of online events, our plus R brackets are now weekly. So you guys wanted more of it and we are providing it. Starting in only a couple of days on May 2nd, we'll be doing weekly plus R tournaments every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Our CF weeklies are still going on, and of course, our next one is going to be tomorrow. Uh, Beach episode is coming back again as well. It's going to be our summertime regional. If you aren't familiar, it's straight up a weekend of a bunch of games, and then we go to the beach on Sunday. You guys definitely should come through on the Friday, because that's when we have our usual weekly at Balance Patch. Come through for a regional, and you get a beach like on Sunday. It's a pretty sick deal, I'd say. There's a ton of games that you guys can probably already see on the screen. Uh, including Exerd and Strive, Plus R, MBAC, CF, MBTL, Dems, Fighting Herd, Sailor Moon S, and a ton more. Uh, last but certainly not least, we've got Meter Management coming up, which is a New England Smash and FGC regional brought to you guys by Base Deep Beatdown and Boston Blue Beat, which will be running Street Fighter VI, Strive, and Smash Brothers Ultimate Singles and Squads. That's on June 10th over at Uptime Academy in Hanover. You can sign up at start.gg slash meter if you guys want to take a look at that. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, Going to get on for some Street Fighter 6 action, um, which I could not be more excited for. So Who definitely go to that. Um, I, it's gonna, I'm going to give almost everybody on that roster like a fair shot, but right now it's Chun-Li. I played Chun-Li yeah. in 5. Oh, uh, word. She's really fun in 6. I played her in the... Uh, the beta a little bit she's still really cool love her stance um mm -hmm. but i i, I want to like i want to try everybody bro like even cammy's looking sick i'm like i'll do some rush down what's going on dude i've been hearing that across like mad people like there's so many people that are like i'm in a character crisis with this game like i like, don't know aesthetically they're all really even like the classic ones are all really cool yeah um, i mean like you mentioned chun Li with the style. new stance and stuff like yeah dude it's crazy yeah i i cannot wait I, uh, I downloaded the demo finally, and I'm just like playing against CPU you know, just to <laughs> just to get my fix in for the next month. Nah, man, I I totally believe that. Like that one is is pretty crazy. Oh, we've got a we've got a, a couple of things going on here right now. Uh, we've got a word from production. Do 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 do. Breaking news. What do we have to say here? Uh yeah, hello. So uh, it's your boy uh, Michael Dink uh, here running production. Uh, so in the meantime, while we're waiting for small squish and Diety to join the call. Um, we're going to bring on Aerodat, who just won uh, their first attempt, and let them rep their school a bit, talk about it a little bit, and then, you know, we'll boot them out, Beauty Tune style, as we get into the next match, as soon as Aerodat gets in here. Yeah, yeah, um, no problem, no problem. Uh, nah, I can't tease him, man. Damn. You can't <laughs> tease him. <laughs> what's up? Yo, what's yo, up, Aerodat? Yo. All right, what's up? Uh, what's going on? Yeah, no, uh, right. I just wanted to bring you on real quick. Um, just um, let you talk a thing about your school, you know, FTC going on over there. Just to kill some some, some time until we get Small Squish and Diety on. We want to, like, give you guys, like, a chance to, like, rep your school, talk about it, and, like, you know, how you, like, enjoyed the exhibition. Uh, yeah, I can talk about all that. Uh, for one, thank you guys for doing this exhibition. It was mad fun. Even if, uh, what is it? I always find online to be a little bit worse than offline, no matter the net code. Like, offline, just a different experience entirely, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah, but um, super glad I got to do this. Super glad I got the rep. Super glad uh, taking another point home for WSU. You know how it is. Shout out to Worcester Ooh. State. Um, but uh, yeah, here at Worcester State, uh, I no, we we as a club kind of built up our own little community here. We basically just do whatever we can to get in as many games as we can. Um, 
our last tournament of the semester was at the SCF tournament in a uh, both kind of in preparation for this and kind of, you know, people just want to test their metal in like my main game because as their president, we haven't really been playing it. We've been playing the more like modern games like Strive, Grand Blue. So we did play a little bit of Tekken. <laughs> but um, yeah. really, Yo, people if wanted... people want to find your club, bro, where, where can they find you? Uh, they can find us at Twitter and Twitch. Our Twitter is, is I believe, esports underscore WSU. You know, just probably search up Wednesday esports. You'll probably be able to find us. And then um, on Twitch, we are Worcester State underscore esports, where um, though the semester's over, every Thursday, we should be live with whatever bracket we're running that week. Good deal, good deal. So if people want to join your club, uh, they hit you on Twitter, you got you got a page you go to, you guys got a meeting spot? Uh, well, if you want to join a club, first of all, apply to Worcester State. Uh, totally not advertised, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you get, hey, this is your time to brag about whatever. It's all good, dude. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. true. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, if you want to join in, like, I'm not gonna say we're not open to other um, people outside of the club. Like, you have friends you want to bring in, always bring them in. While we're in the heart of Worcester, you know, down south, if <laughs> if that means anything. But it's, what we have it's here, Western Massachusetts. That ain't yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> what are <laughs> you talking about? Bro, That's not down south. <laughs> I've been down south. That's not down south. <laughs> Uh, it's a different, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, Western Mass is a different state. <laughs> I won't lie. True. Also no, that's true. fact. Also true. That, that is a fact. But, oh, my yeah. God. I go anywhere outside of this city, and it's like a damn NPC town. Dude, it's a... <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> what? Okay. Damn, right. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, you want to been to, like... What, what, bro, some place in Massachusetts is not real. Like, what the heck is a Northampton? North... It's a. It's a, actually a bustling town in Western Mass. I've been there several times. It's actually really? pretty. Yes. What? Oh my god. That's I went crazy. to UMass Amherst. I've been there several oh, times. Oh, you went to UMass. You went to ZooMass? Yeah. I wasn't that. <laughs> what? Yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> don't make. What? Don't make. Don't make me hop on this lobby right now. Do not make me hop on this lobby and embarrass you right now. Do not make me hop on this lobby and make don't don't let me hop on this lobby. I do not want to do a bullet two oh, yeah, Wait, hold yeah, on, yeah. hold on. Arrow yeah, yeah. versus Polito exhibition. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me, don't let me do that. <laughs> Ragnar, the yeah. funny thing, the funny thing about Ragnar players, right, is they'll complain about bullet two B, and then just forget the fact that Ragnar two B is like an amazing counter poke against that, and five C is literally right there to outspace it. Okay, but here's the thing, right? Right? I want to press my 5B. It's the funny button. It does so much for me. You get in the way of that. You're making you can, me think that's not you right. You have a stop sign 5A. You have a 2B that literally beats that out. <laughs> Once that's established, you can click your funny button. You just have to think for like two to three minutes extra. That, that's a little bit too long, my guy. Too long? That is. Uh, I'm, I'm with that's, Aradella on this one, what? actually. You yeah. are very curious. Very, very curious right now. I, <laughs> I could play Nato instead. You want to deal with that? I could, yeah. <laughs> that, that would actually be really interesting. I don't think I've seen your Nato in a while. Oh yeah, yeah I've I... never seen it once. Oh yeah, I've never, I've never, oh, I've never played on stream before. Actually. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, wow. I'm pretty sure I've only seen it offline. Um, <laughs> so, what, what other, what other, uh, what other games can uh, people expect to uh, see you guys playing over at the club? Um, if well, people want to bring their own, like what, what kind of, what's, what's the vibe? Do it fast. Here's the thing, right? Uh, we are, we are a very open, open group. You can literally bring any game and people will play. We have, we've played goddamn Kirby Fighters 2 and that game, I didn't even know it existed until like the week we voted it in. Is but <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's literally, Kirby Fighters 2 is literally like a mini game from an older game, right? turned into its own title and we played it shout out to the kf2 community by the way i don't know if okay. they're watching right now because they're in our discord but they showed up for our stream and they they let us in on everything like they okay. they have their own project m it's what? crazy okay talk whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, know, hold, right? on, hold on hold on there's a lot to unpack here i need you to <laughs> speed run through the next games <laughs> okay 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 but well, basically well, they can bring whatever as long as there's people around you know it'll get support is what i understand yeah Exactly, but going to the next semester, we're definitely going to try to f find a focus on uh, obviously Street Fighter Six. That thing's going to blow up in the FGC, especially among the young crowd. I hope. Yeah. Of um, Shrive's going to stay a mainstay, and uh, don't know from there, but right. those two we're definitely looking at. Well, uh, we got to see you off. But again, for those that want to follow what's going on at Worcester State Esports, you guys can see them at Twitter.com/slash/esports underscore WSU. Uh, if you guys want to yes, check sir. out their Twitter and follow what they've got going on. We'll see you around, Aerodad. Thank you for showing up. Bye. Yeah, good work Bye. today, too. Well played. Well played. Later. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Good job. Peace. I will sun that man if he starts talking like that.
Um, uh, <laughs> but true. But uh, you guys can also occasionally catch WSU at a couple of the Boston Blue Beat monthlies as well. We do, you know, tend to have uh, you know a couple of people from colleges pull up uh, here and there. But we'll we'll talk about that, uh, you know, maybe a little later. We've got Deity here versus Small Squish. Small Squish is expected to play Hibiki. Oh wait, no. Okay, I got cooked. Yeah. No, the, okay, I got cooked for a moment. Oh no, all right, maybe. Yeah. No, Hibiki, all right, all right. I got baited to him, like, are we gonna see another one? Uh, okay, this uh, so is gonna be This is a fun matchup, yeah. Yeah, this one is, it's hard to describe, but <laughs> in a lot of ways, Hibiki can kind of like outmaneuver the crap out of Kagura. Yeah. Um, and there's some funny buttons that uh, Hibiki has, but we'll talk about them as we see them. Uh, so H Hibiki like kind of gets the uh, the stereotype for being like one of the easier characters in this game, and like still has some execution stuff to him. But mm -hmm. Kagura, I watching Kagura is always a pleasure for me. This character is crazy. Big buttons, um, a bunch of options off stance. Uh, that, that fireball could be a little challenge to deal with. Um, the projectile involve thrust. If your character is a projectile, it's very annoying. I'm really excited to see uh, how small yeah. it's small. He's got a couple of tools available to him. All right, we're seeing 2C a bit earlier. I don't know what it is with these new blood cargo. They love doing it. I'm going to sound like an old head, even though I'm not that old. Flash yeah, comes are. in. Really good choice right there from Deity. I like that. Goes Another for the 60B, but Small Squish just opts to block it. You can fuzzy jump that on reaction. He has the other stance normal, which like is him not teleporting, but you can generally just jump both of those. We do indeed hit DP on minus frames. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. Sometimes Price you got to. Honestly, yeah. Deity trying to go for the tech trap there. You see with the 5A, 6C, probably trying to catch Small Squish uh, air teching backwards without barrier, but Look at smart usage from them. Oh, goodness. Almost 5K damage. Yeah, that's a hell of a starter, and that's going to do it. You need yeah. to take that first round. Goodness. 5DA coming in right there. And keep in mind that that does block, like, pretty much all mids and overhead. So even if Small Squish had tried to DP, that would have gotten armored through, actually. That uh, is they would have had to go for, like, a 2BB or something. The reward for it is kind of minimal. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird normal. Wow, gets caught in the mix-up right there. That is unfortunate. Small Squish putting themselves in the corner. <laughs> this is going to hurt DD. Going to set themselves up for a nice little bit of OP right here. We're yeah. still going, wonder, never mind. I oh. wonder if the delay 2B was meant to be a call-out for the, the 2 and 4 d or if they, they just happened to match that. Because you can fuzzy jump, you know, 2 and 4 c versus 2 and 4 d Yeah. Um, But I'm, I'm curious to see if that, if that match, like, had that sort of intentionality behind it. Either way, though, Small Squish is going to rack up a ton of damage. I they double super damage in here, so they'll probably settle for some OP setup here, right? Oh, they go for 6A, but no pickup off of that. Would have been able to kill with it. However, the 5BB catching the fuzzy jump from Deity and going to air on blockable them. Um, one, one important small detail to note is that you can't barrier on, like, basically the frames in which you jump. There's a small period of time in which you can't hold that. So you will get caught out by, by like, being on this ticket in those situations. Interesting. I didn't know that, actually. Huh. That's yeah, it's a really big thing. That's why whenever I do a 720 and I see someone's holding barrier, I smile. Because <laughs> 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 it's frame zero and I know they can't jump. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah. You got it. That would be, like, one of my favorite things that you've ever said. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, Look, no. I, oh, this is dead. This is gross. That's so dead. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's no question there. Oh, man. The super cool. Let's go. I'm here for it. Man, playing against this character can be so annoying sometimes, but he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah Kagura, it, Kagura does like kind of walk that line of, I really don't like playing against Kagura, but I really like watching good Kagura's cook. Like, he'll just do some like cool stuff, and you're like, that's sick. And then, like, you have to deal with neutral sometimes. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, Kagura neutral is, it's its a time. I, I booted up that character, clicked 6-6, six, six, started dashing, and went, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the Listen GP in. again. Oh, no. Trying to get a little trickier there with the, like, the 5A resets right there, but not really quite working out for him. Does manage to get the burst at the end of the interaction at the very least. Six, he going to catch the jump? This is a big starter. Uh, this is easily 4K damage, like, at least. I... Yeah, we're gonna get close to five again, I think. I think it's the combo we saw. We're gonna hit five, yeah. there, actually. Oh, never mind. Four point eight. Yeah. Oh, the two DA. That does indeed beat the two A match. We saw that for small squish, and that's gonna be death. 
That was like two to three hits, yeah. <laughs> That's Kagura round right there. Like, yeah, y'all want to talk about Dragon Ball two touches? Like, you, <laughs> you haven't is... seen shit so you've seen a Kagura two Dude, touch. this is it, man. I swear. That man gets a. That man is like, well, five C is a crappy button. You're like, yeah, sure. And then you accidentally get counter hit by it, and life changes real quick. I feel like that's a thing with like low key a lot of blue blue characters. Yes. It's like I don't want to press this button really, but if it hits so. <laughs> yeah, it's like a weird thing where like some of the weaker characters are like, okay, like yeah, this is like struggle bus neutral, this this and that, but I also if I touch you, you kind of like explodify, and that's really cool. Taukaka. Uh, on certain <laughs> on the right parts. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a that was an interesting case. I, I can talk a little bit too much about that. I know enough talents to kind of know what I'm talking. About. I love I, it. I love it. Wyvern's gonna come out, not gonna be too much. DP comes out from small squish, but immediate burst. Deity wants to finish this right now, and they get handsomely rewarded. I think this is one of those things where, like, small squish is still getting some of these big hits, right? Um, but yeah. not able to really capitalize on their Oki in a consistent enough way to make DD like really respect it and hold some of these mix ups. Um, and as a result, they're eating a lot of damage off the wrong starters. Yeah, this is one of those sets where, like, it feels that if Small Squish tightens, like, tightens up, they'll really be able to run things. But so far, oh, yeah. that's a B flash for there. You know, there's certain things like that where you have to be very... What? Interactions like this, where it's kind of Scramble City, and then you just get hit and tossed around the place. And your OD happened, but it didn't really own up to much. Jesus Christ. Uh, if he pops OD, uh, Small Squish is dead, actually. I don't think they're going to pop OD, though. No. CFAF, yeah. Yeah. I was going to oh, say, they're, they're finding too many. Yeah, that's a perfect. Yeah, I was going to say, DD's Dee, Dee like running the house enough where, where I, I think they were confident enough to the Oki. Yeah. Um, that's one of those yeah. things. Kagura with momentum is horrifying. It's terrifying. Yeah, once you get stuck in the corner, it's like, well, I, I guess we're just going to go into the next round and I'm going to try to conserve my resources. Yeah, the big thing, too, is that the ODs that Small Squish are going for, you know, to kind of go again about like, resource management is that they're on places we don't necessarily trade it. I am shocked Beef Avenue just didn't beat it out right now. Reset into command grab there. Oh, there it is, though. Oh, my goodness. You hate Ow. to see it. 2C is just slow enough that it wasn't even active yet. <laughs> that, oh. Yeah. That's very unfortunate. Oh, okay, here we go. Small Squish. Finally able to get something going here. Hits the cross-up. Misses the follow-up, though. That is unfortunate. And yeah, kind of again to point out what you were talking about, the lack of being able to go into Oki really lets Deity have so many chances at just playing out the like the round. Yeah, we're see you, I think we're just seeing a little too many scramble situations right now. Um, just funny because I feel like Hibiki is one of those uh, kind of stereotypical scramble characters too. You know what I'm saying? Like in some ways, right? Like there's definitely like there's definitely like that section of Hibiki players that just do air tech reset into Zuna drop like over and over again. <laughs> Um, and Hibiki does have buttons like, you know, JPP, oh, that just got beaten by B-Flash Kick, because that move is really good. And I think that was another attempt at a B-Flash there from Deity, actually. You saw the weird, like, kind of, like, jump into JB. Yeah. Oh. Okay, still going. We're, we're starting to see Small Squish play around in some of these, uh, big normal ranges that Deity's throwing out. Yeah. Um, seeing some but nice IEDs over but the other thing that's happening a lot of times is that their air approaches are very linear. So Deity's yeah. just literally anti-airing them with B-Flash, like, very, very consistently. And you want to just force out different normals from Kagura. He does have a very, very good... Ooh, that was a nice counter hit here. Let's see what we get. Right. Like Oki. But again... Okay. 214D is a good starter here. This should be next hit into death. Set it up, yeah. And there's that cross up again. Absolutely had to burst out. Yup. Oh no, the DA overhead connects. though. And that's one of those things where if you can't deal with 2DA, Kagura suddenly becomes a much more terrifying character. Okay, we're just raw baiting out the the flash kick, and hey, it works out for small squish. Big punish right there results in the death. That's huge right there. Uh, about halfway back to get that burst back. That that might be the confidence booster we need to get things started. That was a JA. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frame trap with DP. Let's go. It's only Kagura, what could happen, smile. <laughs> too real, too real. I swear. All right, 50 meter. Oh, and okay. there's the, the zero drop. RC? Yeah, this is going to be a ton of damage. I'm so glad we got to see that after mentioned it. Very exciting. Uh, it makes me feel very proud of myself that I said, hey, a thing could happen, and then it happened. Yeah. And as a commentator, that's like a gold star. 
That is, yeah. Right. That's, that's all we want, really. <laughs> this is another OD on a stance. Okay. So this is a thing that has been occurring a lot throughout the set where, like, Deity starts stance pressure and within, like, two seconds, Small Squish clicks OD. Um, especially on, like, the 60A, 60Bs. Um, OD is a very powerful tool against Kogger, right? Like, his normals are slow. Stance into a normal takes, like, actually a long amount of time. So you could usually get, like, a pretty solid punish uh, if you click OD. But there's a few situations where I feel like Small Squish maybe just wants to kind of, like, escape instead. Oh, counter? That is a risky move. Yeah, no doubt. And this is fatal counter conversion, too. That's... Yeah, it's a... So that counter... So that's the other thing about the counter. That's literally it. You get the counter, and if you have no meter, that's, like, it. You just do oh. the and spin move, and that's, like, all. I wasn't looking at the that's why. Yeah, 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 no worries. Uh, but the big thing is that counter is really dangerous because you, were fo you have forced land and recovery if you opt for it. Of course, yep. So it's it's like a whole thing, man. It's, it's very risky. See, Flash Ender. Jesus Christ, that was only like two hits. You just Ooh. raw command jumped? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, we're out. Uh, we Beat the DP2? Is this dead? 100 meter. Uh, not off this starter, no. Oh, all right. My, actually, that's 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 cap. That's actually cap. I'll, I'll explain why in a second. JC ends up connecting, and that's a tragic end for Small Squish for the round. All right, what's, um, what's cap? If you're close enough, uh, Hibiki, Hibiki actually has really good mid-screen confirms as of CF2. Because if they're crouching, you do like 6B links. And if they're standing, you do uh, Azuna, uh, you do um, Thrashing Claw Loops. That's the name of the move. It's 236AB. I don't know why I know the name of the move. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, so that lets you hit like 3.7 like mid-screen meterlessly, which is like really good. Um, and he had 100 meter, as you pointed out. So, you know, super or RC, whatever you want to extend. A couple straight hits here from Deity. He, I don't think, wanted to do that stance. Super. Yeah, that might have been a little Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I genuinely think they were mashing stance because the input for the super is down up to the main stance. Oh, oh this my. should be death, actually. 100 meter, absolutely. No drops, no drops allowed. There's one. To be able to go for, yeah, this isn't gonna be double super, but RC into whatever you want. Oh. Jesus, that did not kill. Okay. That's unfortunate. Hey, you're still one hit away, right? Small squish eats this hit. Uh, okay, no. And... Tragedy has struck. Tragedy has struck, indeed. Nice. Oh man, right after Small Squish gets their first game, DD just answers right back with the with the highway robbery, no less. That is just oof, unfortunate. Not only did Small Squish not get the kill off of that confirm, like squeezing as much as possible with the DP there, they end up just getting caught by the 6C when they're panic jumping. That's a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's that's a play from mental game of just throwing that, but it is what it is. You gotta push past it now. And another B flash coming in right now. Small Squish has got to vary, you know they're moving right there. Hibiki's got the air dashes and ground like dashes to make this work. But due to the way they're moving around, you know, it gives Deity a lot of time to just kind of sit there char like priming a charge and then suddenly just get antsy aired and your momentum is gone. Nice confirm here from Small Squish at least. Goes to the JC. Nice safe jump. Dude, that JC is so good. Catches rolls, safe jumps. You can cross up with it if you're feeling frisky. Oh, all right. DP is blocked, but I mean, for uh, for a blocked DP, this is not bad. You're not. Oh, oh never mind. You're dead. You're, yeah, you're I was so, gonna say this is definitely. <laughs> it's so over this round. Jesus Christ. Oh, 5K, 5K to close out that round. Spend a little meter. No big deal. No big deal indeed. All right, so DD on the verge of getting halfway there. <laughs> oh, I wish one of those big Agra normals. Shout-outs to my Nickelodeon kids if you know that Big Time Rush song. Jesus, the B-Flash does not get punished tragically. The DP doesn't connect. It's a 2C counter hit. Yeah, you, you want to burst that. That's... Let's say it's a lot. Of <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, so we get a lot of damage, though. This is, uh, this is still... Yeah, clear 3K. All right. Low damage cock for a combo, you know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, 6C counter hit. Let's see what... Oh, that's pain, but at least manages to maintain their offense here. Small Switch goes for the JC starts. afterwards. Well, caught twice? This, this right. has got to be enough, right? You yeah, this is not super. Like, you're dead. No! No, no super? Kill. Okay. I, I want to say they misinput something just due to the way they were standing there. Yeah, I was going to say, that definitely looked like a, I dropped it and didn't expect to be here type moment. Yeah. 
either that or maybe they didn't believe in the like paration and thought they might have like um uh, what's it called and thought they might have dropped out after like maybe like a two seed to do it or something like that I'm, I'm not too sure either way small squish was still able to clutch it out and sit on a life lead right here gonna have to hold a little bit of this cocker neutral but that life lead is slowly depleting and a 5da hit is definitely gonna get it done this route is has so much corner carry on it it's not gonna be a lot of damage and the ender is dropped but 2da connects and that forces out a big burst from small squish yeah, at the life deficit right now. Plenty of meter to play with. If you could bait out another big whiff and get an IED over, you're good. But now we're in. You got to bait the flash kick. Here it is. No! Okay, good on Didi for switching up the defensive options. Love to see it. Jumps out the 60B, but gets caught by the orb. Gonna go for Yo. the new A there, RC. Yo, is this dead? It's gonna be oh, a no, 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 you're done. Uh, Superstar is good. Burst is very viable here for Deity. Pops it accordingly. Right now, both players are trying to throw out a couple of normals. All it takes is like one stray hit and it's death. Stay oh, I see why he went for that. So that super is one of the fastest like moves in the game. It yeah. literally comes out on like frame four or like frame three. Um, So I think they wanted Small Squish to land into it or maybe they were expecting like a dive kick. Yeah. And then that would result in it trading and Deity getting the kill there. And that's one wow. thing that Small Squish has been doing a really good job of this set is these air stalls. Um, and I definitely think, I think you're right. I think I played a little bit of a factor in the Super Whip in there. Yeah. Good OD right there on the 5D. This is going to net Small Squish a ton of damage here so far. 3.6, or rather, basically 3.7 at round start. Ain't nothing to scoff at. Overhead connects. Yeah, you called it out earlier. You get that mid screen, you're happy with that damage. Seriously, yeah. Just out of range. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Deity mashing 2C there is like actually like insane for like a variety of reasons. That is <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> hey, got 4.8 off of it, so you know what? We take those. I guess, but that's 2C. If Small Squish just hit like 5C or anything else, that's a free counter hit. If they like mash like 6B, I'd have been like, okay, cool, that's a better normal for that range, but oh man. And you can see the respect that Small Squish has. Oh, oh that, that, that was so clean. Flash kick right through the super. Hell yeah. Because the, the invul on that super is very minimal, if at all. Yeah. And I like the fact that he got a hit then and went into command grab and it happened to TRM. So Small Squish couldn't tech, but would have been a purple command grab. That's, that sucks. Yeah, you hate to see that. Ooh, oh. another tricky mix up right there. Yeah, he's going for that JC into stance so that he can like fling himself downwards and then go for something afterwards. I think if Small Squish opts to delay tech, he'll probably end up like involving through it. Good mash here from Small Squish. Speaking of which, this is going to be a solid extension here. Going for the dive kick ender. Oh, it yeah. just eats the flash kick again, deity. That's the big thing. And I think if I'm Small Squish, you got to start doing a bit more overhead. Speaking of which. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah, seriously. Um, man, not going to kill, but builds that 50 meter. Oh, but runs oh, into dead. the DP. It, it whiffed. I think he he had to do air dash into that, if I remember correctly. Do you see at the tip manages to connect with Small Squish? DD is DD not afraid to press 2C. <laughs> mm. and, and I mean, if if you're looking at Small Squish and the fact that it, it's not getting punished, why not? It's a yeah. fantastic starter. Great damage, it has good range. If you're not getting punished for its slow speed, then it's like, why not? And we have seen Small Squish jump over it a couple times, but I I think you're right. I think Deity's uh, landing percentage is definitely in their favor. Yeah, like that's one of those things where if something that ordinarily isn't a good idea is working out extremely consistently, and Limited. emphasis on very consistently, why would you change like what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you can say that about any like very consistent option you're throwing out. Like it works every time. All right, I guess I'll keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, you told me this is minus forty gorillion, but I I haven't gotten punished for it yet. So I don't know tell you. Yeah, seriously. Wow. Something maybe from Small Squish. No, Daddy ends up switching sides, and now Squish is in the corner. No burst available. Oh, my oh God. baited counter assault. That is ultra unfortunate and you're gonna pay for that with your life yeah air tech reset into 60 is gonna get it done at this point i i would probably just start doing air tech with like a b or i would try to tech forward and maybe see if that gets you outside of the range of the 60 there right, safe right, jump 
There's the command overhead there. You want to see that more often, if only to purely get rid of the charge from Kagura so he can't reverse the wheel in that situation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I feel like we've seen it hit more times than not. And sometimes we have seen it come out, you know? Yeah. With that 2C again. I, I almost want to see Small Squish, Small Squish start to go for like with punishes here. Is that? No, not quite. Able to jump out. Punish, punish? No! You need to RC that, right? Like, I'm not tripping. That wasn't safe. That was... Uh, which move was it again? The yeah, shield surfing. Or the, the swords. Uh, yeah. 2DB is... You can cancel in the stance and then do something else. On IB, like, you can... People can mash, like, 2As and stuff. Trying to go for the air tech reset right there, but not going to work. And we've seen Dady do a lot from a comeback situation, so this could be rough. Counter right, B flash connects. Nothing too crazy right now. Both players jumping around to neutral, but look at the space that Dady's taking up from Small Squish right now. Boxing Whoa. them in, but the JC from Small Squish will seal the round, keeping it even right now. And I like that too. Like Small Squish wasn't afraid to just give up that space. Like I need one hit. I'm going to find the spot. I don't. I don't care what position I'm going to be in. I, I'm going to use my movement options to get out if I need to. Yeah. All smart. Oh, 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 ran right into it. Oh, that is unfortunate. Not a ton of damage. Yeah, there it is. Finally calling out that cross up. Small Squish gone for quite a few of those. All right, there's the command grab coming in once again. And Small Squish is really getting eaten alive for not fuzzy jumping too much. And it feels like they're getting thrown into a lot of situations where they're just not comfortable whatsoever. So you see the ODs pop on moments like that, yeah. and suddenly it doesn't work out for them, and then there's like a scramble situation that occurs. It feels like they're just mashing OD on defense, like, yeah. without really knowing the right spot to do it, you know? Oh my and goodness! Again! Anti-air! Like, the some of the air stalls are okay, right? But yeah. the problem with that is that Kibiki's clones go away even on contact with a hitbox. Yeah. So even if you do, like, J2D and you don't send yourself out, the B-Flash will kill the clone. And if you happen to block that B-Flash kick, Kagura's safe. Like, that man is chilling. <laughs> Big chilling. Uh, so yeah. Then, uh, yeah. You gotta, you it's gotta, like, it's it's good to mix those in, but you definitely gotta switch that up a little bit, um, because Dini's clearly starting to key into it. Oh, okay, not at that range, though. Let's go. Yeah, that was a 6C attempt right there. That could have been a big starter, but Small Squish managing to stuff it there. Didi getting out of the blender right here. Has to spend the burst. Oh, and there's the flash kick. Okay. Reset the nooch. Yeah, still trying to go for that 5A, 6C. It's not working out as consistently anymore. There it is again, right? Because Small Squish is committing to these double jumps really late, it gives Deity so much time to have the flash kick charged up. If they were to commit more on either regular jumps or maybe IADs in some situations, it would work out a little bit better for them. But it's I, these I think like they're scared to because the flash kicks, which is too bad because I, I think IAD is the answer there most of the time. Well, yeah, like there there's some places where it's good, you know. Uh, yeah, RC to this, you're dead. Um. Right, like there's times where Small Squish will go for an IED, but it's too close. Yeah. So then Deity just ends up flash kicking out. And I'm surprised we haven't seen like, you know, dash up 3C or even just dash barrier to kind of check for a response from Deity. You want to make sure that you can tell if an opponent is actually reacting to you or if they're just doing stuff preemptively. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, definitely, definitely a key component. Um, Small Squish, okay. Go for the overhead reset. Text the throw. Good stuff from Deity. IBC connects that over. That anti air is slow as hell, but let me tell you something. It definitely leads to good damage here. He's trying to go for the stance. Oh, Smash just gets mixed up there. You can't really stand there kind of like with your um uh speed. Okay. Can't stand there like a deer in headlights in those situations. This could lead to death here from Small Squish if they can do the double super here. Yeah, 100 meter. Let's see. All right. All it takes is one other super here in this situation. You don't have to DP, but that's easier and that's the kill. All right, here we go. Small Squish put another round up on the board. Trying to put their third game up. Oh, Didi is, I don't know, they're looking too solid right now. Still, good pick up. Okay, this could be the start, but the flash kick comes out. That's A-OK. -okay. Nice JC right there. And that's the power of up back against Kagura Mutsuki, man. That thing is so good. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Flash kick right out of dodge. I don't care about your stagger pressure. Oh, Big that ball. was a very big decision to DP there. I do not agree with it. Uh, and it's definitely not influenced by the fact that he got hit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Man. Yeah, might, might have been a missing foot, honestly. Uh, 
Okay, this is death. This is death. This is easy death. This is easy death. This is easy death. This is easy death, right? No commentator's curse, no nothing. You're just dead. You're just dead, just like that. Ah. All right, so I spent the RC right there, too, just in case. Respect, honestly. Dude, All I right. love hitting RC at the end of that when it kills. It looks mad goofy. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, but sometimes you got to be at safe, you know? No, no, no. I definitely feel that. All right, here we go. So Small Squish finally put up that third game, um, breaking past the barrier. We'll see uh, We'll see if DD's going to continue to run away with the rest of this or if we're going to see a real turnaround. Yeah, this is tough, but again, the B Flash is always primed. It's super safe on air contact. Small Squish manages to get an OD confirm right here. This should be about, yeah, this is nearly 3.7, but the corner carry is super good as well. Backs away from the 2C attempt right there. Another big jump in. Oh, no. He has to go for the reset there. Can't really get anything off it. And another tech from Didi. Good awareness. And we're seeing Small Squish back off a little bit more whenever he's, like, kind of taking to the skies, which seems to be working a bit better uh, against yeah. Deity here. I'm curious to see if Deity will try to... You just did that from full screen. Jesus Christ. Ha. <laughs> There's the counter. So get off me. Oh, hits the cross-up. Okay, there it is. So, here's the goofy thing about Kagura. When he does air stance like that, he can choose to jump directly down or at an angle, like ahead or behind. And I am just shocked that day he ended up shooting forward and then doing 60A. I, I don't know if maybe they were attempting to just hit the 60A and they didn't realize like that they ended up shooting themselves in that direction. Yeah, small switch will capitalize on that. Oh, yeah, it's, a, no. it's, a, it's a weird thing. I'll talk about it a little bit more after the set. If you know, I'll talk about it. Right now, though, uh, things are plain and simple. It does not take glasses and a degree to see that there's a lot of damage being done here. Yeah, indeed. Jumping right out of the fireball setup there. Good awareness. All right. Should be able to get a little mix on here. Overhead again. No, runs right into the flash kick. That is unfortunate. You know, I've always wondered one thing. I, I've always wondered why Small Squish really likes to offer dive kick ender, because I'm pretty sure as Data gets the 60 there, because I'm I'm pretty sure that Zuna Drop typically does more damage, like as an ender there, and, and the knockdown yeah. is a bit more standardized. Uh, I've never actually like asked him about it, because I've seen that from him like since like the olden days like, before he was at college. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, th so that's not just like, uh, I haven't learned it yet. That's, uh, I prefer it this way. I think that's a stylistic thing. Yeah, like straight up. Respect, all right. We all we all got our different styles. That's tight. Oh, yeah, for sure. Flash kick comes out right now from Deity. Deity representing the flash kick style. All right, yeah. Re representing the, what if you just didn't hit me style? That's what we got. <laughs> that's oh, goodness. Okay, oh, good yeah. mash on the 2BB there. Yeah. Fates the DP, RC, I love it. Oh, RC back at you, here we go. Runs up, goes for the 4B. Just backs out of that 6C right now, and but this is still leading to a rough situation here. Ward is out, but it ends up being the, oh, no. Yeah, okay, yeah. no, we're good. Tried we're to get good. a little uh, creative with it. I think Deity wanted to play around the burst. I think at that point they maybe just needed to do like a quick button into super there to lock out the burst perhaps. But right now, I mean they're they're looking real good right now. It's seven three for them. And if I'm deity, I'm sitting pretty. You're chilling, yeah. Um, we're seeing a ton of flash kicks connect. Like I think that last one, that one that got baited, that was the first one that got baited in like six flash kicks. It's been a minute, maybe even more than that. And uh, Deity wasn't asleep at the wheel, ready with the RC, like still clearly dialed in. Yeah. I think right now, if Small Squish can tighten up the air movement in situations like these, yeah. where that 6 nearly connects and Kogar gets to start his turn, things will look out a lot better for him in neutral. But until then, it's kind of like a difficult situation. Trying to go for the very hard callout with the um, uh, with the counter there. It doesn't work out, but doesn't get punished at the very least. That 5DA was super smart, actually. That would have guard pointed an EA attempt from Small Squish and a DP. So that was really cool to use it in that situation then. Yeah, I love seeing the magic and um, knowledge on display right here. Oh, yeah, no, so has cool. to burst to maintain that corner. That is the latest 2C I've ever seen hit in my life. What in God's name? And then you drop the combo. Why? I that, that looked like OTG. Almost. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, see, like I saw that hit like madly. I was like, what? I, was like, what? I didn't think that was going to combo. Oh, no. I think it was going for the cross-up right there, but it looks like missed the input. That is unfortunate. 
Okay, one Yo. comes out, gets counter hit for it at the very least. But the combo trips. No. <laughs> oh, okay. there's the punish on the 6C. Okay, finally punish for uh, for swinging that baseball bat a little too far out in the field. You know. You can only hit the neighbor's window so many times before consequences occur. So true. So true. Um, unless you run fast enough. What? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's all right. Oh, I like the IVs right there from D to get that just in time. Still has to hold this pressure, though. Small squish, like, I don't know. You, you talked about tightening up the air movement a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if they've tightened up all the movement, but overall, I think we're looking a lot better. It's getting better for sure, right? They're playing it more. That clashed? That was definitely meant to be a barrier or something. They did not want to cancel into Crush Trigger. That was cursed. That, that was, was exceptionally cursed. Ultra cursed, yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, that is... All right. Oh, it's my kill. No, drop oh, All right. <laughs> I'm surprised that dropped because that RC was definitely meant to just kind of link it all together. But either way, the next hit comes in clutch, and Deity is looking very good right now. It's a funny thing about Kagura. When you get the hit, and you're like, oh, this might kill, then it drops. The next hit is not might. The next hit is this will kill. Yes. <laughs> it's merely an insurance policy, so, uh, so to speak. Yeah, for sure, for sure. The premium is your opponent escaping pressure, I suppose. Good mash right there on the 60A. Yo, small squish uh, cashing in on that premium right there. I love the uh, press that pressure. I'm surprised that 2BB actually got caught by the 5C right there. 2BB is like a ridiculously good low profile. Okay, here's a ridiculously good Odia, however. Gonna be good damage. Ends with the 2 on 4C, though, so that's gonna kind of lose some of that timer there. Oh, my. Finds a spot for the EA. Mid screen pressure. The cross infection connects that time. Small squish has been ready for that previously. Yeah, this is going to be death here. RC into stance super, and you are gone from this world. Dunzo. Clear 5k. That is game number eight for DD right here. DD, like, DD's coming back because uh, RIT? RIT kind of got beat up by Arrow Dad. Oh, you don't say that. You think oh, they got beat up? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, we were so it. fair earlier. What's going on now? Now you're like, now that Jeffers got me, like, man, they got wild. <laughs> man, they got kind of. I think, cool. you know, it, no, I don't know. It was like, still still had some good moments. Don't get me wrong, but like, like, yeah. Do you think they got cooked? Do you think they got kind of cooked? Might have, might have got put in the microwave, got cooked a little bit, you know? A little, little bit of pepper oh. action? Just a little, uh, <laughs> little, little bit of pepper on the edges. Uh, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, but DD answered right back, yo, going, no, all right, all right, he's got hands. I, let, let me show you. This is how, this is how we play Kaga. Like, let me step in. You, ever, you know the image of Woody in Sora? Yes, yes, that's, it's my turn, son. You, you, you can step oh, in. Oh, that's DD right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, OD comes up, but it's in neutral, so, you know, Kaga just blocked right now. I, I feel like we are, like, one small adjustment away from seeing Small Squish able to, like, mount a, a convincing comeback. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because we're seeing a lot of solid moments, but this is a deity show right now. This and is... those, those kind of sets where you're like, literally, if I just do, like, two things differently and it goes so much better, that's not going to be But it's going to be a lot of damage. Uh, that's that. so close. <laughs> yeah, Active I Flow think... plus that Super in OD is Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. On the and, yeah. <sighs> It, it almost looked like Small Squish was like initially ready for that overhead. Got opened up by that. I couldn't tell if that was a low or just like mid two way or something like that. But uh, I'm I'm not too sure. I'm not. Either way, they got small. Oh, public just sitting out like just giving them Jesus Christ. Okay, we, this is. I mean, how many times can we say it? A lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. There it is. That's like the third or fourth time we've seen that specific combo to get like 4.9. Like, DD is very consistent with that. And these mashes from Small Squish are not working out in Kagura pressure in a few instances, right? Like, we're seeing the 2BB work when Deity opts for like 60A pressure here, right? Yeah. But as you can tell from Deity being only one game away from taking this first to 10, we're seeing a lot of mash attempts from Small Squish where Deity just happens to do 2DA and then it happens to low crush and then lead into solid damage there. I think Small Squish just needs to rely a little bit more on that fundamental defense that you know Blaze Blue does reward you for. Because uh, yeah. if you block that 2DA, Kaga really doesn't have much in the tank afterwards. Agreed, especially with no meter. Um, but it, this is like, now if you're Squish, you gotta, you, you gotta play this perfectly. Um, good, good start! Is technically working out a perfect so all right matches the roll od gets triggered you got to cancel in the throw sadly yeah interesting oh no right through oh we'll get smoked 
Oh, trying to get a little tricky with the confirm there. Ah, uh, I see. Small Squish ended up running out of OD, so that 5D didn't connect on that confirm there. Does manage to get that hit there. That 6A is only minus one, so let's say 2C against like any of uh, Hibiki's normals. Not going to work out for Deity there. And they lose this first round here. Small Squish has to make a big comeback and win seven games in a row to make this happen. I, I think I think if you're doing this round, like break out all the funny stuff right here. Like you got a round advantage, try it, and if it you know if it's working, great, keep it up. If not, but it's definitely worth it to uh, try to get something going here. I don't know. You got to build some momentum. Yeah. Oh. Why no. ends up connecting? I think that caught Small Squish's jump there. That wasn't a counter hit, but another hit ends up connecting. Oh, I see. Yeah, cool. That is it. Oh. I wonder if Deity doesn't have a confirm for that situation, or they're just like, I'm just going to reset into 6C. Because we've seen that a lot, where, like, Deity goes for these, like, air tech resets into, like, 6C and tries to just confirm off of that. Yeah. But Kagura damage, you got to remember, like, especially if, like, a C normal is connected, like, that's going to be good guaranteed damage regardless. You don't really need to go for the resets like that. They haven't gotten exactly. punished for it, so they're kind of fine, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, Kagura traditionally not one of those characters where you're like, oh, let's see the resets, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, you finally got a hit after, like, three years of work. Like, it's time to kill. Time to murder. Oh, yo, speaking of murder, here we go. Get a chance. Back EA connects. Go. That's another OD there. Couldn't go for the EA there. The 60A, the startup of it is body involved, so it could have led to a very cursed situation. Flash comes out again. All the flash. This isn't going to work. Oh, wait, it oh, does. It's going to work. Various yeah. reasons. I'm a liar and a cheat. If Deity hadn't opted, because Deity went for the air dash and you can't barrier or block for a period of time when you initiate an air dash. Right. Um. So had they just did a regular jump or a super jump, they would have been able to barrier, force an RC out of Small Squish to stay safe, and then play out the round from there. But Small Squish uh, finally going to put up that fourth game. We got a chance, so still, still five games down. Long road to come back from. But we need a reverse 7 0. That, that would actually be I just think so. Especially for Bad Baby, too. Just like the, the Vortex. It would be pretty sick, I won't lie. But yeah, again, <laughs> so like, again, the air movement, there's some adjustments that are good. But you can see there's some instances where Small Squish just spends all their air movement and they're just kind of like a rock falling to the ground and Deity's stretching his hands wide with open arms to just 6 it or something like that. Yeah, it's going to be a good transition for our next game too, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I wish that was intentional. Nah, I, your subconscious knew. I'm, I'm going to give you credit for it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, oh no! Smoked by the overhead, and there's that cross up. Small squish had been so on point blocking those earlier in the set, but I think I don't. You did up run up two C, and then you just hit small squish. Why did that happen? Lord knows. It's my job to explain the details, but I'll be frank. I think maybe small squish was nervous and fuzzy jumped, and that connected. But two C as your Oki is, it's not very potent. I'll, I'll be frank. <laughs> uh, a five B or six B is better. Five B especially because it's, it's an extremely fast low, so you can catch people out like super well with it. And 6B is kind of like a standard mid range poke. Going directly into super here. I I don't agree with the meter spend there. The knockdown isn't especially good. You leave them one touch from Gao, oh, and they're dead. They're, dead. they're just yeah. dead. As long as this combo finishes, they're dead. You made that way closer than it needed to be, but they, <laughs> but they died. You can go yeah. for like 3D, J3D, and the, I'm not gonna go with the combo route. I'm, I'm, we don't have time for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, let's sorry. just say they, they could have done a better combo to, to turn of a combo. Kills. Yes. Turn of a combo. I suppose so, you know. Oh, it's small squish. Okay. Finally get some offense. Immediately spending the overdrive. I'm almost thinking that was supposed to be burst, but hey, you know what? We take those. Yeah. Just barely runs out of OD timer, and the J60 ends up missing. This is an awkward situation. Small Squish spending the meter to get themselves out of the corner. And again, some of these double jumps are really not getting much done for him. Ooh. Especially in situations like that where Deity has enough time to prime a flash. Whoa, same thing you talked about earlier. You jump a little too late over that 2C, Deity's going to have to have the flash. Oh, man, that's so clean. So consistent with that, too. AD and active flow available for Deity. The next hit will certainly kill. Deity doesn't necessarily need it, but it will certainly remove Burst from being a uh, available for Small Squish. That's kind of the big thing here. Yeah. Oh no! Gets hit by the cross up. Has to burst right there. I'm yeah, surprised like by the lack of flash kick right there. Deity just kind of stood there. And we haven't seen them go for 5A anti or so. I wonder what their plan was there. 
Yeah, I'm not sure, but either way. Oh, no, the walk out? Yeah, great position. This next interaction could be for the set. Any big hit from Davey will lead into death for Small Squish. And on Small Squish's side, they got a ton of meter, but that's not Invul. The cross up ends up connecting here. Should be death in this situation right there. Okay. This is how it starts right here. You you get you string a couple moments like that together. All of a sudden, you're not you're not down five games anymore. You're only down four games. You know, I that new a makes me nervous because that is not a very safe option to go for there. That that could have just gotten flash kicked into just death. That's um, I feel like that's one of those things though where like you can, you gotta show your opponent you're, you're willing to uh, break out the funny stuff. Yeah, sometimes, but you, know? you can just get antier for it, like free. Like that that super is like gets antier shockingly like smoothly by a lot of the cast. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, it's a Not it's, it's a weird. very often. Either way though, Dady playing it safe, trying to go for those six C's. Not a huge leap of faith because small squish is far, so the punish from them isn't gonna be super like high. I were just whiffs entirely. That is like the tip of the hitbox, I swear. Oh, no, caught the roll coming out too, but it doesn't matter. Immediately spends a burst, gets a big hit right here. Fireball, low key. Now you're in the blender. Man grab connects here. This is going to be a little over 3,000 damage. Let's see what the knockdown is. Just the C flash, right? No! Drop comes in right there. Punish. Be into a punish. Should be death from this situation here. Let's see if Small Squish got it. Just one. That's the follow-up from the super for OD. Okay, just goes into the zoom drop. That's, that is fine, that works. Okay, we take those. 5.32, ooh, all right. Small Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I just got good, I can hit it. Sorry, what? That stuff could have been like six, six to like seven K. If oh, the overdrive damage is like dumb. It's like really, really dumb. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my Watch favorite. Elion play like his Aviki and you'll just see some things and you're like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna check that out. I love me some high level Aviki. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh great my play. god. Yeah. Just doing a great job using those flash kicks to call out some of these cross ups. Good awareness from DD. Fireball. Yeah. He has to hold it. And trying to frame trap that from like a 2A isn't really going to be super ideal because your opponent's not going to be in blocks and for a long period of time. So if they're panicking and fuzzy jumping, they're just going to happen to get out of there. Uh, yeah. However, Deity's not, I don't, I don't think Deity's actually recognizing some of the situations in which 2 and 4D is getting used. The 60 connects, there should be death here. Okay. Small squish bursts. I don't agree with this. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, we're good. Oh, from downtown. Sniped. But doesn't matter. DP, once again. It was a little bit of a fast forward through time. It felt like we went through a fast montage. <laughs> into just, a, that. just a quick little warp tunnel. We just, we just had to get through there. Yeah, you know, just, you know, a, little, you know a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So this is, we're back to set point again for DD. It's small squish, like, coming out with the hands, but. Oh. Okay. Right connects. And this is certainly how you can start your offense pretty smoothly here. Dive kick ender. Goes for the raw command jump overhead right there. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. That's not good. So, yeah. If you, for those of you that don't know, don't play a ton of Blaze Blue. If you land a throw mid combo, not only can it be teched, but if you don't tech it, it's unscaled. Um, so, don't make make sure you're you're ready to tech mid combo if your opponent's uh doing the funny stuff on you you're leaving out the fact that there's like over 30 frames to tech if it's a purple throw too oh yes yes sorry dude, i did forget that it's uh, a lot easier to tech too <laughs> what a shame that's that why was... it's unscaled though you know you got that time. i mean yeah i mean yeah it is it is um i do like the adjustment at least on the throw from small squish to cancel in the command jump into the zuna drop because he ran out of uh, he ran out of air options, and usually after air throw, you you uh, you do a, a double jump into like a confirm. So that was really smart to like from that situation to recognize and to go for a zoom drop there. A really nice new adjustment. Forced to block the. That's, that's not five to be. Well, no, I forget what stands on that is. I'll be quite frank. I do recognize a B flash kick when I see one. Yeah, same thing. With two C, B flash kick. Okay, thank God. The 2C did get punished. You cannot match that normal. I, I <laughs> really can't match that normal at that range. But, like, all right. Oh. We're starting to see some of those punishes come in, but the QDA has yet to be blocked for this entire set. So true. All right, now you got to hold the fireball, Loki. Counter assault out. Yeah, I like that. You don't want to get that mix up. But from downtown. Oh, slide no. Slide through with the Wyvern. I mean, say less, I suppose. And that, and this is going to be enough right here. We got the meter. Uh, should be able to do it. Okay, yeah. All right, 
I saw the, I saw like the, the slowdown, the stop there for a second. I got a little nervous. Well. We no, good. I we good. That. We're good. We're good. Small squish. It feels like through this like this set ever since like Deity hit nine games, Small Squish has been winning, but also fighting for his life. So it's just kind of amusing in that sense. Oh, most definitely. These, these have been some very intense rounds so far. Yeah. Guess we're gonna get damage combo. Oh, we're out. Side switch. Here we go. Another big whiff. Okay, there's the delay. Trying to bait out that flash kick. Where's the yeah. though? Davey trying to roll into the corner. You never really want to do that in DB. Pretty much any and all of you will cover those like back rolls into the corner. Not going to work out. This combo will kill. Oh, goes directly into the super actually to negate the burst from Davey. And the active flow leads to death. Beautiful. All right. That's seven. Yo. We, know, we got a set, bro. 9-7. Here we go. What a comeback. We got a, we got a set. We did. We do have a set. Man, that orb in the 60B ain't it. That's, that's not really super good, Oki. Okay, I'm not going to lie. The <laughs> command grabs were working out really well for Deity, so I'm like surprised that they are switching off of that option. Yeah, I mean, weird. We'll see. Plus, you still got time to go back to it, you know? Say no I mean, yeah. yeah. Look, you got at minimum three more games to work with. All right. Oh, overdrive. Yeah, that's going to be a punish. Absolutely. Get through those yeah. big Kagura normals. Good and at that point, that sequence is like just pre cam Like, Davey's just going to do it every time, right? It's just going to yeah. be like flash kick into... Oh, nice. RC in the overhead there. It's just going to be flash kick into like 5A6C into like stance normal. And recognizing that and popping overdrive to get a big punish is really good for Super Splash there. Ooh, I am shocked that hit. I think that was only because the... Hitbox, hurtbox extended from the JC right there from Small Squish because that uh, that 5DC that spinning move there actually like lacks a reverse hitbox. That's so crazy. Yeah, I think I'm... the JC I guess extended it, leading to that hitting in reverse, which is weird. Uh, just as weird as this counter hit right there, but confirm the confirm is relatively standard, not enough for the 6B 5C link, however, or Gatling that is to say. However. Like any other cogger around, oh, that man no. suddenly gets another hit, and Jesus Christ, it's another 4K down the drain. Yeah, and this is... Oh, no, we're, we're, we're back, though. We good. We we could be back, but, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if we see another, like, uh, potential tournament, or uh, rather, set ending uh, round come up. I mean, all pretty much all these last couple games have gone to a final round, so, yeah, this this doesn't surprise me whatsoever. You you yeah. said it earlier. Small Squish is winning, but Small Squish is fighting for their life right now. Yeah, seriously. JB ends up connecting in that way. Oh, there's the cross-up. Okay, so DD had previously been really good about uh, flash kicking those. We're finally starting to see the conditioning come through for Small Squish. Excuse me? Okay. Oh, that was it. That was it. Suddenly, things are looking a little bit dire for Small Squish. DP ends up connecting. Raw overhead connects as well for Small Squish tonight now. But the combo was dropped. C Flash comes out from Deity. I love the patience right there, too. Gets the hit. QB this catches is... the roll, but they tech out. They're just a little too high. And this is an awkward situation. Trying to go for that new ARC. We've seen it so many times. The... Oh, no. Yeah, I know that's... exactly what happened there. <laughs> because Deity got what crossed happened? up, yep. the charge input, their like 5A attempt ended up becoming an orb and so that came out instead of what probably was 4a either that or they tried to do orb and it auto corrected in reverse which is also kind of nuts and uh right now this is this is looking a little bit like a first to two for small squishy it is nine eight so far in deity's favor all right here we go small squish has all the momentum on their side right now oh no that's huge baits the dp gonna carry to the corner should be some decent damage a little mix up after builds they gotten a little beer. bit more off of it but the uh, knockdown will still be serviceable here that oh wow i'm surprised that, c flash actually worked out there yeah that was a weird clash it was indeed normally like kagura c flash will just take him out because he can just go sky high there so i'm yeah. surprised it, it panned down in that situation like that oh wow it actually gets the hit yeah dd kind of forced to spend the burst right there maintain the corner position and that's why right there if you could get that hit in the corner you're gonna get a ton of damage this... not gonna kill but this is like guess for game basically he can command grab and just get a kill off that yes, orb comes out awesome. not really great to od there the six he a loving embrace for like small squishes or blocks right there yeah really good positioning i'm not gonna lie 
got a chance. All right, so Didi once again on set point, but gets the DP baited, and now Small Squish is going to carry Didi back to the corner. Overhead connects. Yeah, I'm surprised Didi keeps trying to do flash kick there. Like that, that's just straight up a safe jump, and it's been demonstrated. Oh my God, we set demonstrated here right now for us indeed, and that will take the round. All right, it's time, Small Squish. The funny stuff. Once, Once again, open. if you got some gimmicks. I mean, now is the time. You're very late into a first. To oh, that's why the DP is not so good because of the body involved. No burst taken from Small Squish. Straight up wasn't available, so the drop works out in the favor super, super well. Nice first oh. jump on the 2 or 4D. Yeah, that should, this should be some good damage right here. DD building that burst back. Should build 50 meter here, too. Yeah. And there it is right there. Whenever Deity opts for that JC Ender in the corner, it's always followed up with like a stance normal, usually TDA. And Small Squish just hasn't made the adjustment. Okay, Command Grab whiffs. It's a 5B punish. This isn't going to be as big as you maybe would want it. In fact, it's a drop entirely, so not nearly as big. A little bit of time left, but the OD yeah. from Deity ends up coming out. Not going to kill quite enough. 6A connects. Okay. That, that really stressed me out with that didn't kill. Okay. Wow. All right. Small Squish coming so close to making that comeback. What, what was that? Six six games in a row? I think I think that was 9-2 at one point. I think that was six games in a row they were able to put up. But Didi finally closing it out. Incredible. That was that was looking like it, it could have been very tough, but Deity managed to close it out. And you could tell from the way they were playing that they felt very unaffected by the set count in and of itself, right? Yeah. Because, you know, they kept playing, you know, in the same ways. Um, in some ways, you know, to their benefit. In some ways, maybe not as much due to, like, some lacking of adjustments there. Yep. Um, but, yeah. In general, uh, as a Jeffers kind of puts it in the chat, uh, rightfully so, in order for RIT to be on the up and up for this set of exhibitions here, they've got to win this next set. And uh, it's Lennox, melty time. It's melty time indeed. Yeah, I can't wait. So I I disagree with the truly a fate worse than death part. Um, oh yeah, that's I'm, not. I'm also. <laughs> It's it's cool. I recognize that I'm one of the weirdos that likes this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's this is legitimately. I I get a little flack for saying this sometimes, but like this is legitimately my favorite fighting game that's come out like probably since Grand Blue. Um, I really really like Melty Blood, but at the same time, I I get why people don't like it's it's all good i'm not gonna try to convince you it's i get it it's a polarizing dude there's some people that are like blaze loop no trust me like it is what it is right like yeah if you like exactly. a game you play it and that's all there is to it frankly yeah um, exactly don't even, don't waste time thinking about what other people think about your game that don't play your game it's just you do you you know um, <laughs> yes i'm sorry it's i like i it didn't translate to me as you do you so just like yeah <laughs> oh, oh <my> God. <laughs> yeah i probably uh that's uh, on me for uh for not enunciating properly so i'll, I'll own that um yeah no problem no problem uh we've got a another player coming in today uh right now that we're gonna chat with for a brief moment and that's going to be small squish the snhu player omg i was just introing you what's up man hello oh, hello are you there <laughs> we, we might be having some temporary microphone issues so perhaps hold. discord is also very interesting when it comes to audio sometimes i swear this that's a that's a very uh interesting uh way to describe it <laughs> i am being polite yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what i should have said well, that's, <laughs> that's good dude don't worry about it oh uh, uh, well, yeah so wish if you you know if you're able and you hear us feel free to cut us off whenever trust us we can yeah we can i was go gonna say while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually please do cut us off in fact <laughs> all right so while we uh while we're waiting for that one more time we could go down our uh oh there they are oh uh, hello hello my controller. oh that's a classic you got to disable the audio device man i did it earlier so i don't know what happened again yeah PS4 oh dang ggs <laughs> You got me. Oh, <laughs> oh, I got Andrew. Really? Really? Oh, are you with your? Oh, you're with your friends? Family. Oh no, no I understand it. Yeah, Don't worry yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. Damn. Well. Uh. Well. Ups. Big ups for uh. Almost bringing that full comeback. Why? Why you got the whole family in the background? That. Uh, that cannot be easy. So. 
talk to us a little bit yeah. about the uh, that that six game streak you were able to put together. What what was the adjustment you needed to rip to uh, really make that happen? I'm gonna be honest. I want to put this out there because I noticed my. I know there's a thing in CF for. I see sometimes that it's like, oh, players not muted or whatnot. Mm-hmm. My mic was also muted at first. I was just super frustrated with like Kagura buttons, Kagura damage, and just not being able to keep up with that and match it. Mm-hmm. And I think I started. I said it verbally because I was because I was frustrated. And I think yeah. that hearing that verbally of like, yeah, he has big buttons, I can't match his damage. It clicked in my head. It's like, all right, maybe I should try to be outside of range until. He does something. Uh, yeah. And that kind of just passively started clicking more and more. <laughs> and then also, I want to give a huge shout out to the Sonic Frontiers OST for giving me a music boost. What oh, song were you listening to? Oh, yeah, that's the real question. What you got? Uh, what is it in order? I have it in a specific order. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, you got the playlist. Okay. Oh, I yeah, that's playlist, a whole, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think it played all three in order, actually. It was... Undefeatable, find your flame and break through it all. I'm not gonna lie, grinding out some games to find your flame is pretty is pretty sick. I need to put that on the playlist. Holy yeah, I, I put it on loop as soon as I started hearing it. I, when I got the first game back, no, nah, I feel that. Yeah, that is that is one of those moments where like you get a game back, you're like, all right, I'm here. <laughs> I'm at this now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you can see that in the gameplay too. Like, I I think I made a joke about like you 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 only need one game to get started. You know, take it from definite of five to four. But you you made that happen in a big way. Um, one of the I don't know one of the big things. Um, I think that you did a really good job of is kind of like you said is, is playing around some of those bigger Kagura buttons. Um, uh, but one of the things I noticed that uh. Um, you got blown up a couple times. Was jumping over that uh, that two C, I think, um, and then running right into the flash kick. After was that was that something that you were trying to play around or bait? Because I I noticed you baited a lot more DPS at the end. Uh, I was definitely playing around that two C a lot. I noticed it was catching me with a few things, or it'd just be the, I guess like the pseudo reversal option. Uh, but with DP. I always just forget how high it reaches. So when I got caught, it'd be like, oh, right, it goes that high. So mm-hmm. I'd try to like, yeah. keep that in mind. Uh, try, play, try playing around it a little bit while still trying to adjust to my own game plan of how I usually play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so before, you know, because I think we can talk about the matchup a ton. I do want to ask you about, you know, anything that SNHU has going on in terms of like esports or FGC programs, you know, stuff like that with like clubs or what have you. So, in terms of esports in general, there is an esports team that I am not on. Uh, I know they've had interest in fighting games. I don't think they've gone super far outside of Smash Bros. with it, though. Mm. Uh, but I am the event coordinator for our game club. And oh, wow. I've been trying to get us out there. Uh, started, we started with that uh, 3v3v3 exhibition. Uh, and we've been getting more and more people trying to, like, Get people involved and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, there's still not a huge demand for running games over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had five or six people interested, interested uh, like consistently. And even then, their schedules wouldn't work out for a lot of events. So I think right now we're trying to take it slow, uh, get it started up, since the game club before that was, in terms of what they played, was a lot more party games. Everyone come in and play like board games and whatnot. Just kind of like a... Like, they had fighting games, but no one used them. So mm-hmm. when I show up and I start using them, it's like, oh, we got some people interested now. But. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, Where can they find those? Because yeah, you mentioned, I think you mentioned the stream, actually, uh, if there's, like, a Twitch channel that you guys frequently use. Yeah, so we as a game club don't have one. Mm-hmm. However, the esports team does have one. Let me see if we can pull it up. Yeah, yeah, feel free to do so. Uh, and uh, is there is there a Twitter page as well? I don't know if you know the at off the top of your head. I do actually. Oh yeah. So their Twitter is at snhu in all caps, and then all lowercase esports. Okay. And then same thing, but without the app for the Twitch. Got it. Got S- it. Got it. Cool. Snhu esports. They play. Uh, they play Valorant League. Uh, League of Legends. I think they also did Rocket League at some point. Smash mm-hmm. Bros. That tracks. And I think those are their big ones. Yeah, so those are I typically can, the big games there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can start talking to them a bit more about finding games. But we, had, I kind of had my hands full with uh, 
this exhibition first because we unfortunately, uh, as it had turned out, we didn't get many actual SNU students to show up because of other plans getting in the way or rides not working out. Oh, yeah, I mean, sometimes that ends up happening. Um, yeah. uh, but uh, we do hope to see you guys soon. Um, especially, you know, even if you guys can make it out for <clears throat> whether that's beach episode or the next monthly or whatever, you, uh, you know, we got going on, you know, we always love to see you. Uh, it's always really fun to see you and like Aerodat, given the way how Aerodat will just like yell for you and all that jazz. <laughs> yeah. Do appreciate that. That's, yeah. like, that's a big homie there. Okay. That's pretty much. We got um we do got MB MBTL coming out, so we gotta give you the boot. But we do appreciate you coming out here. All right, real quick, I want to also give my shout out to Aerodat. Because if if it were not for him, I would not be playing this game, and especially not to this level. Yeah. Yo, let's go. All right. Well, big thanks for coming through. Um, thanks for playing. Uh, very nice run. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your night. Stick around, watch some Melty Blood. Cheer on the homies. Will do. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right. Peace That's out, yo. Problem. All right. So next up, we got some Melty Blood coming at you. Um, and it looks like, oh, we already got these players in the chat. So are we, oh, is this who I think it is? You know these guys? Who are these? No, no, no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to beat the characters right now. I'm seeing Cheeky, and I think that's Powered CL. I know. Um, I feel like I know uh, Gary Butternups. I feel like, I feel like I've seen Gary Butternups play. Oh God! I think WASD. Monday yes, I think, I think I've seen them play before. Yeah, they, they got a, they got a pretty tight Cheeky. Um, but. This this PCL character, I don't know if you've seen what I'm decided to do with this character, but this, this PCL character is pretty sick. Um, big buttons, uh, honestly, great air normals, um, just overall solid kit, EP, great mood skills. But if Shiki gets in, Shiki can do some damage, so you gotta be aware at all times. For her. All right, a little rebeat pressure coming in early, but just, uh, all right, just uh, 2C, just 2C to get out of there. Not even the charge one, just using that big button. DP Ender. All right, yep. Keep it easy with the safe jump. Nothing too crazy. That's a big whiff, though, and Gary Butternub's confident enough to get that whiff punish. Oh, okay. That's the counter here right there. This is going to lead to pretty good damage. Not going to build up enough meter to kill, but still. Uh, Tono's Oki is very consistent, especially in the corner with the 2360 extension. He ends up coming out now. No heat OS either, so good data for uh, the best nightmare. Oh, for sure. Oh, right, no, that had to have been a miss in Oh, goodness. Yeah. And, like, oh. on paper, that decision to just, like, run up and, like, go for, like, a 5e isn't even bad. <laughs> like, yeah. that's just unfortunate that it got with punished so, like, smoothly like that. Can't confirm. I've been opened up by that offline several times. <laughs> These things, they do happen. They do happen. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so yeah, Gary Butternaps. Oh, okay, here we go. So for those of you that are new at Melty Blood, when Shiki hits this uh, this level three right here, it goes into install. That's punished. This is gonna be a lot of damage. DC starter, no meter, but builds one bar. Just barely, all right. So air throw ender, not great Oki, but you're getting a safe jump, able to play the moon skill. Wow, oh, scary shield right there, able to Ooh, recover God. time. That actually connected and punished the heat. No follow-up available, but even cutting off the like the life gain is super big. Yeah. Yeah, Shiki in install is is just a different beast altogether. Um one of the cool things I like about that super is if you close the round out with it, you carry it over for the entire next round. Uh, so you'll see a lot of Shiki players like find an excuse to heat um and then use it because you can obviously uh rip your arc drive during that, but either way, we'll see we'll see what kind of uh just what the best nightmare can do. Already trying to play around that spacing where, yeah, you can avoid the Lariat. Seeing a couple of clashes come through, not really leading into anything like meaningful in terms of interactions, just both players opting to back off afterwards. And right now, I mean, this is looking like a somewhat familiar sight. Gary Butternub's getting an early hit, and suddenly it's Tono pressuring PCO. Yeah, you can see uh, the best nightmare starting to respect the slide. I think that's like minus two or something like that. But as, as we saw earlier, if you get hit by the follow-up, uh, you're going to eat a lot of damage. So you yeah. have to respect it at a certain point. And this Once is again. dead. Oh, no. Uh, wow. the, not quite, yeah, I don't not think. Not quite. Unless, no, nah, too, 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 too nah. going to be enough. All right, sorry. What were you going to say, Squido? No, uh, I was going to point out the, the lack of the Hito S again uh, that you mentioned earlier. Right. Um, so we've seen Nightmare still continue on using it. Okay. 
Nightmare gets the first hit here, not able to make the full connection there. Uh, that Rekka hit can be sometimes a bit weird to like connect things off of, just due to like the way the wall bounce works. Yeah. Yeah, that's true with like a couple most characters' wall bounce. If you hit it at the wrong height, it, it, they get a little funky with your conversions. But yeah. All right, Gary buttered up. Does bait the DP. Not going to be nearly enough to kill right here, but we're going to get the arrow throw ender. And this could very well set up the next hit. Uh, little scale with a jump in, but I think that's still going to be enough. Oh, for sure, yeah. Popping a unit yeah. skill gets the extra meter and damage, and that cleans it up nicely. Didn't even need the MD cancel, funny enough. Um, that's that's funny you say that. That's one of the things I love about this game um, is how you can kind of balance the two resources with each other, right? Um, spending magic circuit does give you a little bit more moon back, whereas, as we saw right there, you use a moon drive in a combo, or a moon skill in a combo, excuse me. You, you get some more meter out of it. Uh, so, I don't know. Interesting part of this game that I feel like is not a, a ton of... Oh, yeah, the resource cycling is super cool. Uh, and, you know, after a couple of those patches, they definitely made it cycle a lot better, and I do appreciate yeah. it a ton. Looking at the, the meter the meter gain change to moon skills was crazy. I, I hit yeah. Coma 3 BC, and I was like, wow, all right, I have money to spend. Oh, that's right, yeah. Coma, Coma 2 is just... But I'm, I'm not going to rant about that right now. All good, all good. I feel so like... Okay, hold on. We're going to focus on the hits here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll gush about Coma after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, 236C ends up cleaning out that round. Looking very good for Butternubs. Nightmare's definitely getting a lot more favorable interactions now. Yeah, still starting to, uh, like, like start to get some of the adjustment here. Oh, and that was a great whiff punish, but doesn't get the conversion. Able to reset with 2C, so it's not the end of the world, but still a little, a little bit of an awkward interaction right there. Right. Spin that meter. Yeah, no sense to sit on four all the time. Scary beat, but Gary buttered up is not ready. Oh no, ready with the punish that time. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, now Nightmare is going to be out of like a ton of meter to play with. Not enough moon gauge either for a moon skill. They'll have it available for this next uh, next interaction here right after this knockdown. To be at just 2 3 6 e standard tone of stuff. You've seen it before. Air throw ender, guess high or low. Goes for the 2A there. There it is. Finds the jump out. I, li I like the fact that Nightmare was able to save the drive. What? Again! Counter hit 2C! This is the second player that... If I told you we're going to see two different games where players did, like, two different 2C, like, mashes, yeah, I and have it work out successfully, I, I don't know. I'd lose a lot of money on a bet, perhaps. But that is just, <laughs> yeah. It's just strange that we've seen two characters with massive, somewhat slow 2Cs, like, match it at close range and have it work. <laughs> And it's working, yeah. Like that's, uh, uh, I'm here for it. Don't get me wrong, but man, yeah, yeah, I would not have guessed that either. It's a, it's a head scratcher a little bit, you know. And you're just kind of like, all right, well that, that worked out, cool. That's the thing that's gonna, we're just gonna be doing that from now on. It's, it's all like, good. All right, like, you didn't get punished, so I can't even be mad at you, right? Now. All that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not getting punished. We're chilling. Yeah. Five C attempt does get stuffed by Butternubs though. And There's still, like he's doing the safe jump. I wonder if they're just opting for another button and they're not doing like a 2A, like with the shield or something. Yeah, that that is like kind of a common thing to catch people out. That maybe they're familiar with the uh, the OS, but they're, they're not like ripping into everything yet. Safe jumps are a little bit weirder to do that. All right, counter shield situation here. We're back so. to neutral. Butternubs has spent a lot more moon gauge at the very least, but Nightmare is just opting for this moon skill gun kata, and it's not going to end up working out for me, sadly. Yeah, I love the patience of Gary Butternubs there. When you're in moon drive, like obviously all your moon skills have mad clash frames. You basically get like mini DPs. Um, so I love the fact that absolutely respecting that, trying to punish, not gambling on what would have been a hefty combo. Yeah, and good on Butternubs for not just going like, all right, I, I guess I'll just shield and see what happens there. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of saying like, you know what, look, you're going to spend all your moon gauge and that's perfectly fine. Yes, exactly. You can get a full punish if you shield it, but sometimes not worth the risk. But... Yeah, the interactions on shield can, you know, be a bit risky. This should be arc driving death, actually. I think so. This is going to be close, though. This might not kill. Just barely enough, I think. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, you're go. right. Okay. Ooh, I was tripping out there for a second. Okay. Yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries. I think PCL has really great. I think one of the big things that PCL has is that she's able to dump so much resources before her arc drive, especially because of the moon skills MP. Yeah, PCL definitely the full package. Like, this character is crazy. He's got so much stuff. You fell and did shield, and I am sorry to regret you have been punished accordingly. 
Ryan F fans would be rejoicing, I suppose. <laughs> Dude, that image is so funny. <laughs> I can't get over it. You need to be punished. <laughs> Yo, oh speaking of big punishes right here, Gary buttered up's not quite enough to kill. Oh, oh what's that? Okay. <laughs> I kind of like that too, like it lets you see, because that is kind of a fake mix up right there. It lets you see if your opponent's trying to react to DP or something like that. So I don't know, respect for covering the options and case in point, it is it is working out nicely for RIT's Gary Buttered Ups right here. I think that was four in a row, right? Yeah, that was this four, is four in a row, row right now. Yeah, it's it's looking up and up for RIT here. But hey, we like we saw this last time too. Um, <laughs> we, we we saw a lot of Kagura action followed by a lot of a uh, lot of Hibiki action. So. Yeah. And at the very least, it does seem that Nightmare has been starting to up the tempo, like with time, right? We're seeing a lot more, again, a lot more things are going their way. Uh, there's a lot of familiar situations where things don't necessarily work as well, like particularly on defense, where they try to like contest a bit more than maybe they necessarily need to. I appreciate this five ways actually a lot in order to kind of like uh, stuff Gary from trying to like aggress. But look at the way that Gary just slowly walked a nightmare down to the corner. Yeah, it really looking out for these C normals too, and we're, we're seeing that quick adjustment from Gary Butternut. He's just jumping over the 2C and 5C. Um, just not messing around with any of this stuff. Oh no, that moon skill. Oh, if you're not used to the old Shiki, that is like, the, that can be the main of your existence. For sure. So Brian, just see it. Dude, I can tell. Like, there's like, not quite disgust, but there's like almost this years point. worth of like. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just it's disappointment in myself because I'm I'm just free of that. I, I'm a I'm a dirty up backer, which is not a good thing to be doing in this game. Uh, and I am free to that move. It's so bad. I know it too, and I don't yeah, whatever. I'm gonna spare you my rant on that. <laughs> oh, love to jump out right there, but see, that's what I'm talking about. That hits so high, you can get caught just neutral jump, up back, whatever. Right. Yeah, and it's tough too because like you see, he could do like a two C or a two B, and you're like, okay, well he has like very long range and low like hitting normal. Like I'll just I B or jump, and then the two three six just connects, and you're like, it just, ah. yeah. <laughs> like good good cheeky players do a really good job of like really kind of honing in that mental game, or the, the mental aspect of it. And there it is, five in a row for Gary Butternubs, looking mighty solid right now. Finishing that off with full moon too. Yeah, they didn't even need to pop the second meter for CDP Ender. They just did that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, th I think Gary Butternups is really just starting to key into um, some of the habits from from Nightmare um, and some of the buttons that they like to use at these ranges and just completely playing around it. Yeah. Actually, you know what I, I'm just thinking about now? Suddenly, what? Count the number of JCs that you've seen from PCL. Yo, we haven't seen a lot. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. Yo, I wasn't even thinking about that. You're so right. <laughs> yeah, usually that, that that's a PCL standby. Like that's um, the normal. That's like the like Lamau. You tried to play neutral. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you're like with punishing people with JC, like that's how you know you're a real PCL player now. That's yeah. that that's the yeah real talk. You're right. Okay. And mind you, like this is more so to just kind of point out that like we haven't seen as much space control that like PCL is known for. So there's a lot of situations. Oh, that was a good bait on the DP. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this big damage. Uh, gonna build it up for arc drive. Yeah. Oh, just barely enough. Wow, that was close. It's that moon skill. Like best nightmare uses that almost every time, and that that is the difference between like getting some of that meter at the end of the round and not. Um, Dude, I've seen Omni Scythe do so many long combos into that, and then it's like, and there's the meter for arc drive. <laughs> oh yeah, Omni, Omni kind of the go. And if you ask Omni Scythe, Omni Scythe will be like, oh, I don't know, my combos aren't that good. Like Gavin does a better. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Like, don't I just watched you combo someone for like 20 seconds. Like, you look like you're trying to be HPCL from NBA and back. Oh, like, come on, man. I see. I saw you hit the loops mid screen. It's tell me you're not after. Come on. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, I don't yeah. believe you, but all right. So oh, the, like these up backs would be the perfect time to do that, JC. We we see that a lot from some of these BCL players. Is that fade away, JC? So mm -hmm. hard to uh, so hard to deal with on the approach. You kind of want to see more of that. So instead, we're seeing like, you know, there's empty jumps like that or like JB and JB is like a fine normal. There's, there's nothing wrong with it, but no yeah. JC as a normal to like fade back and then like space is so good. Oh, there it is actually. Okay. Okay. We got it. See, find the hit. Here we go. Sensational. So Not going to be enough meter for arc drive, but uh, honestly, a hard knockdown is a okay if you're PCO. Yeah, went for a little cheeky OTG nonsense there. Not able to get it. Oh, or doesn't shield the unblockable. 
Yeah, there it is. Oh, no. Sniped. Sniped it with the knife lariat. Yeah, and speaking of upbacks, right, we've seen Gary Butternubs get a lot of these 236Bs and 236As to catch the... Geez, that was a nice JA. Oh, in order to catch the upbacks there. And that has definitely been nightmares, well, namesake, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah, if you want just the biggest hit of dopamine playing this game is get just a single hit fatal counter ja as any character it is just oh that's it's the best sensational. feeling it is sensational that that is the perfect way to put it all right this is going to be pretty much a standard combo ender you know just two three six c into you know three c so on and so forth yield comes out uh moon drive actually comes out instead of heat for nightmare but they're going to go away with so much meter that sucks yeah that is uh, dying with four bars feels i mean Dying with full resources feels bad in any game, but in Melty, especially where you're, there's there's so many different uses of meter, it's it's not a good feeling. Yeah. You can use it as a reversal. You could have maybe found a spot to pop heat and gain health. If it's blood heat, oh. then it's like, hey, like you could just like eat six to seven K at a moment's notice. So <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Follow up once again, netting a counter for Gary Butternups. And just look at the carry here. Yeah, we, we talked about PCL having the full package. Like, Shiki has pretty much everything except the fireball. Like, this, this yeah. character's pretty sick. Shiki, it's it's super weird, right? Because, like, at the beginning of the game, uh, the game's existence, Shiki was everywhere. Everywhere, uh, yeah. And, and he then might be over, better now. <laughs> yeah, and then over time, like, it cut down significantly. You only see really, like, Dapu Chia kind of as, like, the biggest Tono, I, I would say. You'll see CG as well, like, pop in, like, here and there. Uh, for brackets, but you don't see the character quite as much at like higher levels. I think Aaron's been rocking Shiki. Uh, chat, correct me on that if, if, if we got any multi blood heads in the chat, but I feel like Aaron's been hooking kids as, uh, as Shiki more recently, but I, I might be wrong about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like Gary Butter Dubs, though, this is this is domination right here. Oof. I mean, it's, right. it's, it's clean right now, I won't lie to you. Clearly a well-practiced Shiki. Like, got to give credit where credit's due. Like, the spacing's good. Um, the, the, what am I trying to say? The mental conditioning and the pressure, solid. Good awareness of uh, opponent's defensive habits. I mean, yeah, it's been good. Uh, if anything, maybe I would say, like, throw a little bit more. But, I mean, the way they've been catching Nightmares is, like, through jumps. Yeah. Like, through calling out jumps or just throwing out those hitboxes there. So. And that, and find, it, oh, you're dead. Yeah. Man, you're dead. That is rough. No. Melty's one of those fun games, too, where, like, mm -hmm. everybody deals with, like, a lot of these situations a little differently, and there's enough freedom of movement and, like, kind of character moves where you you can kind of play like that. You can kind of have your own unique play style. Um, the, the downside to that is if you're not ready to adjust that and somebody, like, keys into something that's working real good against you, like, that's it. <laughs> you can very well get smoked, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the high level, like, if you're playing Melty Blood at a high level, the adjustment game is, in my opinion, I, like, the most important thing. It, it is mm -hmm. essential. That's I, I, that's one of the reasons Scrot is as good as he is. Like, my dude sure. has an amazing adjustment game. Right, Lightning ends up coming out, but unfortunately, Gary Butternub just flinging themselves forward. That would have been a fair decision, actually, if Butternub was kind of, like, being a bit more passive there. But, you know, unfortunately, just wrong in that situation. This is not going to lead to death with the resources that Butternub is willing to spend but it's close so close yeah scaling is going to uh, eat into that and there's the throw hey you wanted more throws here we go oh my let's, god let's yay round, strike throw <laughs> <laughs> love to see it you love to see it all right so that that was oh man that was a perfect dude that's crazy fatal counter nightmare most characters can't get full combos off throws bcl being one of them so that is unfortunately all nightmares gonna get but still spend a little meter to get 37 maintain the corner not too bad, but backing off, you're seeing a little bit more of the, I believe that's 236B straight up, yeah, the slash down. Yeah, and, and this is the hard part, like, Nightmare gets the corner, Gary Butternubs kind of walks their way out, um, basically yeah. just taking that space right back. Oh, there. finally the Heat OS ends up coming in right now for Big Gary. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know how that works, you could cancel 2A on whiff, um, or 5A on whiff, uh, with shield, so if you do 2A fire, uh, excuse me, 2A 5 2D real quick. Um, nice little fun OS for you. All right, counter move drive comes up. <laughs> Just TPs. <laughs> kind of a kind of a smart option, right? Um, especially if you know your opponent's like ripping moon drive and then hitting buttons after. All right, well, do something invincible.
I am gonna assume that 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 came with practice. I have no idea how PCL's like typical like Abare like mean skills work out and interact with Tono's DP. I think DPs cleanly beat Moon skills. I'm, don't quote me on that, but I, I think that's like a hard counter tech deal. Um, I will trust your opinion. I might be wrong about that. But I'm, I'm <laughs> don't confident. don't say that. Okay, you oh, can't just I'm hear me say sure I trust anything. you. And then yeah. you immediately go, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Why? Oh man, Toledo, that's just that's just me as a person in general. <laughs> that's right. that's like the perfect snapshot into my soul. <laughs> Alright. Well, the stream now has that snapshot. And it charged Sorry, 5C. Guys. It's okay. We uh, appreciate you all the serve. <laughs> that's mighty kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all right. Gary Butterdub's on the verge of putting up nine in a row against Nightmare. Ooh, wait a minute, funny goofy big? stat, funny goofy stats for this game as well. Dude, I think I've only seen loot charge happen like maybe twice this set. Yo, that's true. <laughs> like, <we've laughs> that's seen a weird. Lot of yeah. Dude, that's you could match up. That's the matchup. Yeah. yeah, it does, but it's not like Nightmare is like wrestling in a particular way. I feel like Butterdub's could like back up Charge Moon to like get like half a bar and then just play around, but giving PCL space can be uh, uh tough. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Coming back down, no meter to spend, has to go for the air throw ender. Wow, all out the safe jump with the throw. Yeah, smart option. So far. Ooh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the power install right there. Just uh, those special moves just get better. Yeah, the distance and speed looking really good for that. And now suddenly, this is looking like it might be a 10-0. I'm not gonna lie, Lennox. It is a distinct possibility. It is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Possibly even likely. But honestly, like, for, for those of you that are watching Multi Blood and like watching Gary Butterups cook over the past couple weeks, months, like, also not a huge surprise. This dude is pretty good. Yeah. Let's see what we get here. Heat timer does get fully used. Not much health gained for it either, so it's not really going to end up getting much done. Lightning comes out. I imagine that was supposed to be a different special. Yeah, I yeah. Situationally, like very good move, but if you use it in the wrong spot, you're gonna get punished. And yeah, there it is. All right, slide in, slide right into the DMs. Gary butted up on set point. I have a quick conversation with the perfect right there. The stat line is looking real good for Gary here so far. We're seeing some of the record, but Nightmare ends up committing to the full extension and gets punished accordingly. That's one of the big things with PCL. It's not necessarily the fact that she covers so much space, it's that she can often do it relatively safely. She doesn't need to commit to like the full like sequences of it. Yeah, she's got some of the funny stuff like uh, run up overhead and stuff like that, but not not required for uh, Yeah, for sure. By any means. All right, this is looking good. Nice throw tech there from Bagheri. Yield doesn't connect with anything, so Nightmare gets to get out, but Moon still slash. Jesus Christ. This that does recovery. huge damage. This, this, yeah. no, no, not quite enough to kill. Yeah, that would have to be like Moon, like Moon drive cancel into Moon skill, and then yeah. the EX is there. Situation goes in favor of Nightmare for the spin, but this could be it. The last interaction is coming up real soon. DP whiffs. All right, we got a chance right here, Nightmare. Uh, I don't want to see the arc drive. No, drops it. Oh, recently. oh my God, the DP. Oh goodness, Gary Butterdubs capitalizing on the scramble, ripping that DP and sealing it out. 10-0 against the best knight. Damn, wow, that was that was mighty clean. Yeah. And there we go with RIT managing to get themselves a nice little tunnel in order to cap off the evening there. So this is where like this is kind of like lore appropriate too, um, because WPI did beat SNHU and WASU at the Guilty Gear team exhibition this month. So Yeah, that is true. That is true. Oh man. Saying. Hey, hey, hey. You know how it goes. Sometimes you got a you got a little a little bit of payback. If it's a different game, who cares? Uh, we still got the dub. <laughs> GG, shake my hand. You know. How it yeah. Goes. Indeed, indeed. Um, so I, yeah, that's a uh, that's pretty much all we got. I think we're gonna have. We're gonna try to see if we can get uh you know, either either and uh either Gary Butternubs and or uh Nightmare. So we'll see how you know things kind of pan out on that end. You know, ask them a couple questions just so you guys can know what's going on. Um, I know that RIT just announced their second um uh, 
the year, their second year running their regional event. So you might hear some of that. Um, uh, but let's see. We'll we'll get that handled in one moment. I believe we got Best Nightmare coming in real quick. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. What's hello. good? What's good? I'm good. You guys yourself? <laughs> I'm chilling, man. Chill. I'm not going. Yeah. yeah. It's been a good night. It's been a good night so far. Yeah, I, I had a good time. <laughs> well, that's good. Hey, that's that's the point, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, first first things first. Talk to us. Uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, WPI stuff. What, what 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 do you guys got going on? If there's anybody from your school watching, where where can they go to uh, to get in on this action? Well, to get into this action, you can just come to WPI. I know WSU said they were the heart of Worcester, but you know we are more north, so we are technically also in the heart of Worcester. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, just come over to WPI. Um, technically, the fighting game club here isn't actually a club. Technically. We're a subsidiary of another club. So we're still working our way up to become a club, but hey, you know, come over, get some signatures. We'll be coming to more events, hopefully. Yeah, we, I mean, we would love to have you guys come around there and we would love to see you guys prosper and, you know, have a bunch of people coming up. That's always nice to see. Mm -hmm. uh, what games are typically, you know, a bit more popular? What games are usually going on around at WPI? So. At our, cl at our club, we have a bunch of new people. Like, we started this year with, uh, like, everyone was, like, new to fighting games. So, mm -hmm. we've awesome. been playing Strive for, like, the majority so we could teach people how to play the game. But as time went on, people just started to bring, like, any game they want. And, like, basically, if you want to bring a game, we'll play it. Like, All right. I mean, that sounds dope. Like, the right you know, attitude to have if you're trying to build a scene, for sure. So, big ups for that. Yeah, it feels like Strive has ended up being kind of that like entry point for a lot of people around college age and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Like I know like you know people me like oh my god the Strive Zoomers, but it has been a pretty good like <laughs> it has it has been a good yeah. game for people to kind of get in and start kind of getting their feet wet with things. So it's nice to see yeah. um, that that's still the case over there. Uh, and I I hope things work out. If there's any way we can signal boost, whether you guys got a Twitter uh, or anything like that, please let us know. We'd love to share that in the chat, of course. We don't have a Twitter, but we do have a Twitch, WPI FGC. You know, whenever we are streaming something, an event, it will be on WPI FGC. So we hope to see you there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's good to hear. Bro. So real quick, before we cut you loose, who's your favorite PCL player? Bro, I, I look, I did not know I was playing this event until like two <laughs> weeks after I was told, like I was signed up to be in this event. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. So it's been no. a Right, I was right. I was sick while you guys were discussing this event, and then I come back after I'm sick, and they're like, "Yeah, you're gonna be playing in a match against like RIT to like play them against the world." Now I'm like, I don't play Lumina. <laughs> oh, where? So, so this isn't a normal game you play? Okay. Oh no, I've not touched Lumina in like a year or like oh, six oh. months at least. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, okay. It's so, all good then. so in the past few weeks, I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta start labbing and crap. Oh, so you had a you had a whole boot camp situation going yeah, on. Yeah, a boot camp, and then I came in. I saw he was S plus, and I'm like, oh, oh, this yeah. is gonna be ten zero. <laughs> well, hey, credit where credits due. Like you had some pretty good moments for for like basically boot camping and then hopping in. So pat yourself on the back, like ten zero or not. Like we still saw some good stuff. Oh, it I sounds like so you have a really fun. good attitude. That's that's really the important thing too. Is like that you enjoyed yeah. yourself. Do appreciate that a ton. Yeah, uh, you know. That's why I hope fight, everyone enjoys their fighting game, win or lose. That's why I hope for everyone. It's all about the improvement. Truly, it is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's the journey of it. All right. Well, we appreciate having you around here. We're gonna let you do your own thing here. Uh, we're gonna bring in Gary Butternubs to go talk and all that jazz, uh, and we'll see you around. Yeah. Thanks for having me. No problem. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Peace out. Peace. All right. Uh, hello, hello. The champion, Gary Butternubs, in the house. What's going on? Hey, it's nice to be here. Thank you for uh, having me, and thank you for hosting this event. It was a lot of fun to see all of my other uh, RIT players compete with a bunch of other colleges, and it was a really fun event. Thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely, uh, definitely. Thanks for coming through for the Melty Blood too. I, I was really excited when I heard we got to see not one but two games tonight. So that's definitely, definitely nice to get that variety and expose uh, potentially some new people to Melty Blood. So hell yeah. yeah. Um, so first things first, RIT, talk to me about uh, what's going on. If there's anybody watching the chat that may be new to fighting games, maybe they want to get into it, and they go to RIT, where, where can they find you? All right, so RIT, I think, has a really fantastic um, 
system. We have uh, what we call ran bats or ranked battles. We host uh, one per semester. Well, I should say it's one big overarching event the whole semester. We have a weekly every Friday uh, with a selection of three games. People are able to enter as they wish. Uh, usually these three games are decided by like a poll. Uh, this semester it was uh, Guilty Gear Xrd, Guilty Gear Strive, and Type Lumina. Um, but we change it every so often, like, uh, this was the first semester in a long time we haven't run Blaze Blue. Uh, and hopefully, well, I guess I shouldn't say that, you guys are Blaze Blue players. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, uh, no, variety's good, though. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's good, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then on top of that, once a month, we also hold a, uh, a variety monthly. So we like to choose maybe games that, uh, got voted but didn't make the cut. Or other sorts of obscure games, like, uh, what is it? For Halloween, we ran this, uh, Halloween Variety Monthly with, what was the name of the game? SCP Cross Containment? Yo, you guys this? played SCP? Oh, that's tight. Okay. Why do you know this? Why do I know, know this? that? What? I know SCP, yeah, yeah, yeah. My what? No, that. not oh, like, uh, wait, do you know this specific game? Yeah. What? I'm Jesus. pretty sure. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. It sounds okay. familiar. That I was so. not ex okay. That is. Carry on. Uh, carry on. Carry on. All right. Yeah, yeah, no, this yeah, is don't, wild. don't let me distract you. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> you're good. You're good. And then, uh, what is it? So it's mostly our uh, weekly tournaments. Uh, you compete to see who gets the highest points during the semester. Anyone who wins gets like a fifty dollar prize of some sort, um, and an uh, emote to choose. I've taken a lot of advantage of that. There's some pretty fire emotes in our server now, thanks to me being really good at fighting <laughs> games. Hell yeah. So oh, you're yeah. saying that you win a lot. <laughs> I do. I uh, I don't mean to brag, but I went undefeated uh, for Melty Blood or in, uh, Type Lumen or Anvats. Oh, that's dope, I mean dude. That. Yeah, Hell so yeah. I, I'm not tripping. You you do play uh, Monday Night WASD, right? I have played from time to time. Uh, I know we got a few games in a crossover arc, if you remember me. I think you played CL. Yeah. Oh my God, that was you. I played. Okay, that's why I recognize your name. It was crossover. Okay. So, oh yeah. my goodness. All right. I knew I recognized your name, but I was really tripping out about. Okay. Yeah. No, I do remember that. Yeah. You. Uh, I don't think I won once. Uh, uh, I mean, I think you took a game or two. <laughs> I think you did. It was heavily in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I've been playing a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, you're pretty sick. Um. Yeah. In terms of our, uh, what is it? In terms of our weeklies and our monthlies, that's mostly what we do at RIT. But there's a bunch of other. Uh, communities in Rochester. One of the ones we're pretty close with is AGN. They're the people that's hosting uh, the Upstate Uproar event for the second year in a row. Uh, I believe early October, maybe October 10th or so. I don't know the specific date, but um, they also host monthly events each uh, month, obviously. <laughs> and they're uh, a lot of fun as well. There's plenty to do in uh, Rochester fighting game wise, and it's a, it's a really fantastic community. I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah, I was up there for Upstate Uproar last year, actually. Yeah, no, uh, you won Blaze Blue, right? Yeah, I did. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I did the thing where I didn't lose. It was sick. Sick, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, sweet <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, no, it was fun. Upstate Uproar is a lot of fun. They, uh, I know that they, they've got their Twitter at, uh, at Upstate Uproar for, like, yep. information and news on that stuff. I don't know if there's any other, you know, Twitters or Twitches or whatever, uh, you know, Twitter accounts or Twitch accounts that you guys have for like some of the other locals going on there. Oh, if you right, want to shout right. them out. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, our main t Twitch where we broadcast most of our randats and our monthlies is just RITFGC. If mm -hmm. I recall correctly, twitch.tv slash RITFGC. Oh God. And then, uh, our Twitter, um, we're not super active on Twitter, but we hopefully will be next semester. Um, you can follow us. I believe it's also at RITFGC. Uh, it should be the same. And then we uh, have a website as well if you'd like to learn more, RITFGC.com. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. we keep it updated right. frequently with all of the uh, scores for each Ranbat tournament, as well as just a bunch of general information and some fun screenshots as well. Okay, word. So yeah, if you're in the area, I guess check that out because that definitely sounds interesting. Um, that's, that's tight that you have that like kind of central hub for that too, that's... Nice. Yeah, it's right. I really lucked out going to this school. It's it's awesome. Hey, Hell yeah. Glad you got a lot of fun going to the school and you guys get in a lot of good fighting games. It's uh it's sick to see. I remember people some people play like KI in that area. I remember I was mashing those. Oh, yeah. Good amount of KI. Uh what is it? 
I know there was a bit of a Tekken scene, it has died down as of late, and then there was a Street Fighter scene, but a lot of our good Street Fighter players graduated. RIT has uh, been pretty heavily anime based for a while, but I'm sure that'll probably change with the release of Street Fighter 6. Because yeah, I can already I, see a few people really pumped for that. Definitely. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta interject. Know. I gotta interject. Yo, the, what up, street, yep. the, the Street Fighter player at your college was one of them a while? Or no? A while. Yeah, oh, or a Chun player. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. know. Right. Lennox, you know what I'm about. I know he's like, I, yeah, did, yeah, didn't I, he play I, Dragon I, Ball too? I feel like. Yeah, he played, he played everything. He's got like. Oh, wow, got right. like. Yeah, oh, wow, God. sick. Yeah. Yeah. Upstate has some OD players. You know, Mac used to be up there in Tekken. Now now they're like South. Like, Upstate oh, is not a scene to, to mess with. Oh, like, okay. Fighting players. Yeah, what is it? A while was a bit before my time, but a while's uh, in Buffalo. An hour away from Rochester, but uh, yeah. Actually, Buffalo holds a bunch of events as well, I think. Every uh, Saturday, they hold a weekly. It's not too bad to go there either if you don't have anything else going on. Mm -hmm. That's dope. All right. Yeah, a lot of great players from all over. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, once again, we want to say that we appreciate you uh, you guys coming along for all these exhibitions and all that jazz. It's always fun, you know, show off a bunch of different players that are kind of like up and coming, you know, especially in the college age where it can be tough to find the time to kind of squeeze in fighting games and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Coming from doing computer science back in the day, that is, uh, there is a lot of work. There's a lot of work. So uh, we do appreciate you guys uh, coming on for this whole shindig there. Um, and once again, you know, we'll we'll probably see you guys around um, in the future. It looked like I saw Aerodat was, you know, trying to instigate a little bit, a little bit with WSU versus RIT. So I don't know if that'll be of interest for you guys. Classic. But hey, that's, uh, you know, that's on think, the table. I think we're going to cook. I think we will cook them. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. You heard it. Here okay. First. See, if trying to instigate, I'm trying to instigate back. You know. Okay. Well, 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 All right. well, well. I mean, I guess your peoples will have to talk to their peoples and see what's going on. You let us know. You know, we'll, we'll do a little bit of shilling to show it off for you guys. Uh, dang. Okay. On. The, I mean, I think that's a good note to end on. I'm not gonna lie. That got yeah. me. Got me a little. <laughs> It's 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 the classic anime ender of stay tuned for next time, you know. Get ready for the next battle. Oh man, Ooh, I got chills now. I'm ready. I'm gonna go play some Tekken now. Let's do this. You're gonna wait 45 seconds on that loading screen. But um, <laughs> <laughs> too real, too real. In all seriousness, uh, all right, we gotta we gotta we gotta wrap. We gotta wrap. Lennox yeah, and I are, yeah. are too good at just. It will go on forever. Go, 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 go. All right, all right. Go. Yo, thank you guys so much for coming out today. <laughs> We're signing off. My name's Lennox. This is Toledo. You're at Boston Blue Beat. Don't go. Uh, I mean, I don't know where we're rating. We got the. We got. Wait, wait. We do. We do. We do have things to shill of our own. Okay. Oh hold God. On a second. That's right. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna speed run this. Watch this. This is gonna be sick. I think I'm gonna yeah. do this at the end of broadcast. All right. Next offline monthly, May 20th. Usual games, expert strive, CF, and MBTL online events. Plus R is weekly, starting literally May 2nd. That's in like two days. Uh, this is gonna be every Tuesday at 8 p.m. CF weekly is of course happening tomorrow. That's literally at like 8 p.m. Please show up for that. Uh, Beach episode is back. Uh, usual games, extra strive, plus R, M back, BBCF, MBTL, TFH, SMS, and more. Uh, it's going to be on July 15th. We go to the beach the day afterwards. There's a weekly the day before. You should show up for the entire weekend because it's a lot of fun. Meter management is going to come up. That's going to be New England Smash X, FGC. Regional brought to you guys by Basty Beatdown and us. We're going to be running SF6, Strive, SSBU, singles, and squads. You can join us on June 10th at Uptown Academy in Hanover, Massachusetts for a lot of games and fun. You can reg at start.gg slash meter. Just, uh, yeah. That, that, that's what we've got going on. You can hit exclamation point beach in order to find out more about uh, beach episode. If I'm wrong, our streamer will just probably put the exclamation point in the chat. We're going to raid Impurus Club, who is playing Grand Blue Fantasy. So uh, stick around for, for the that because that game's sick. Yeah, dude. All right, yo, peace out, y'all. Thanks for coming through. Easy. Tell yeah. it. Don't be a bitch. Join the raid. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Yeah. Okay.